Gotta turn that up. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. It's Valentine's Day. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? Oh gosh. Every every time. You know. <laughs> hey, how are y'all doing? <clears throat> oh gosh. <laughs> Kevin Ward, thank you for the gifted sub. Hey, happy Valentine's Day. Oh gosh, <laughs> so much reading. Oh no, Cam, thank you for the gift. <laughs> and Blaze Kitsune, welcome back. Thank you. Four months. Oh my gosh, congrats. I'm glad you've been here for so long. It's been nice having you. Uh, <laughs> Doc Man, I thought you said you were gonna wait. I thought you said you were gonna wait until April. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Oh my gosh. Jeez. <laughs> Scarnhood, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. Get ready for some anthro jalapenos, boys, girls, and this. <laughs> I mean, there's six months of god taxes well invested. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, oh gosh. Duckman, thank you for the two gifted subs. Kundog, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. Uh, Dr. Brown, thank you for the prime. And Captain Ward, thank you for the five gifted subs. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. There's more. No, there's more. Okay. <laughs> that one fool, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the tavern. Hope you're having a good Monday. Oh, gosh. That one fool, thank you so much for the sub. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, oh, I hope I didn't lose my place. Neko, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. How time flies. Hope you're well. I'll be drawing while I see you. Nice. Yeah, I, I'll, if y'all want to draw while I draw, that's actually pretty great. Makes you feel less lonely when you're drawing with other people. Did I read this correct? Duckman, you gave another 10 gifted subs? Duckman. Duckman. Wherever you are. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Skilled Potato, welcome back. Six months? Sure as hell. Ready for another six? Heck yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Duckman, thank you for the five gifted subs. Wh what's that make now? Like, that makes 25? I can math. I can math. Thank you for another gifted sub? Jeez. Okay, 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 okay. Darn go. Thank you for the head pats. Okay, okay. So this will be fine. Leon, thank you for the hundred shinies. Half breed, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. Evil Crash, thank you for the five gifted subs. Oh gosh, there's there's more. I thought it I thought it was over. Sir Elk, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. Seven month, nice and happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Hope you're having a good Valentine's Day. Oh gosh. 
No, no, y'all can stop. It's fine. 21 sleep, thank you for the resub with Prime. Welcome back. Welcome back. Just an idiot, thank you for the 100 shinies. I'm so sorry if I missed your message. Tome, 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 you know what's coming. <laughs> you know what this lady's gonna look like. Cluster Duck, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. <laughs> Just an idiot, thank you for the extra 100. Oh gosh. Hey, Onyx, happy Valentine's. Oh, it's, it's good to see you. I hope you're having a good Monday. Or is it Tuesday for you now? Scaring the Crow, thank you so much for the Prime. You, Yulchimi, Yul thank you so much for the gifted sub. Thank you. And Sad Lime Shade, thank you for the Prime. Thank you. All right, that's, that's enough head pats. I'm finished reading. J dubbed with... <laughs> one sec, one sec. I'm gonna take off my, 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 ja my towel. I was drying my hair. <laughs> Jeez. Hello. Sorry, man. I'm in the void. I can't get you in the void. Get over here. <laughs> J-Dub, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. I will be shouting from the tavern because I'm recovering from COVID. Have a great Valentine's Day, everyone. Love you all. Oh, I'm, I hope you're doing okay. I'm, I'm glad you're doing okay because COVID really sucks. Jeez. Kitsune, thank you for the gifted sub to Tome. Thank you. Valentine's Day should be renamed to Singles Awareness Day. Oh. <laughs> One sec. I got a neck of God redeem. Oh, I forgot to open my redeems page. Whoops. That is something I should probably have open. All right, we got that. We got... Uh. <laughs> all right, good. We have all the... Onyx. Onyx, thank you for the thousand bits. Jeez. Oh, fiddlesticks. My assorted valuable objects have toppled out of my hands into the lap of a little goblin on Valentine's Day, no less. Guess I have to go find more shiny objects for myself as there is no clear way to retrieve the ones I've lost. Onyx, you are way too nice. My, my mods are both the most chaotic and nicest people you will meet. Jeez. <sighs> Elephant Gente, joke's on you, I'm aware I'm single every day. <laughs> oh, the pain. Oh. Zana, hey! Just woke up from a nap, it's like my body <laughs> knew you went live. It sensed it. It sensed it sensed the beautiful art that we are going to create. The the nice hot waifu I'm gonna draw. <laughs> Mods are okay, chaotic good? Yes. Chaotic good. Michael, hey! I went to the pet store to buy a rabbit. They had tens of rabbits there, and I was hoping one would really connect with me. Sadly, no bun in ten did. Also, will you be our collective valentine for the day? I think we can all be each other's valentines. Like, we can just hang out as a, fr as a group of friends. You know when Valentine's Day happens and you just go and watch a movie with your buds? I think we can do that. <laughs> oh, valentine's Day is a very, very strange time. But it's real sweet. I, li I like the gestures behind, you know, give giving people's valentines. Yatsune, thank you for the hydrate. Oh, nice. Oh, that's real nice. And for the posture check. Oh, sweet. Yatsune, watching out for my health. This is good. Oh. Lucky Mo, it's your birthday? Happy birthday and happy Valentine's Day. That's a cool combination. Do you get like double the presents? Is it a Christmas situation? <laughs> Kiddo, I can remember the honey stream, but not the class I'm supposed to be in. Kiddo! Kiddo, go to class! <laughs> School is important, especially if you're paying for it. <laughs> Onyx, Lily and Gurg are dating now, and Lily did a little sing, and I think you forgot to post a certain image made for a certain person who is certainly not me. I haven't posted it yet. I do want to post it uh, tomorrow. I, <laughs> I, I, want, I try to post like one piece of art per day and then take a break on Sunday. So I did finish a really, really good piece of Onyx or a piece piece of Onyx, <laughs> a, pro a picture of Onyx. <laughs> and I do want to post it real soon. It looks so good. <sighs> Dad, thank you so much for the shinies. 
just dropped in to say hi and tell you Lily sang for the first time on stream. I clicked it and posted it in your part. Yeah, I saw that. I opened up my Discord and I was like, someone added me and it was Lily singing. But I can't watch it right now because I had to start the stream, otherwise I was going to be late. I can't be that late to my own streams. That's just bad etiquette. <laughs> Gecko! Oh my gosh. Happy Valentine's Day, the most adorable little gob who's always <laughs> working hard for us. Hope your day is filled with lots of love and chocolate, especially chocolate. Thank you. Man, I... My mods... <laughs> I feel like y'all work so much harder than I do. I, I am constantly working on assets, but like... It's... Being a mod sounds like so much work. I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> Cereal, hey! Not that it matters, but in any particular sense, but just out of curiosity, do you consider yourself LGBT? Hey, yay. Listen, listen, everybody's sexy. <laughs> everybody's sexy, and we can appreciate everybody. Have you been bored? Yeah, I ate dinner and I took a shower. Look at me, self-care on this, this Valentine's Day is necessary. It's, it's good for your mental health. <laughs> but yeah, it is my turn to sing. But first, there's a couple small redeems I want to do first. Takagi, thank you for the blood redeem. Thank you so much for waiting. Mm. <laughs> Look at a wiggle. <laughs> and Rage Wrath, thank you for the breathe redeem. <laughs> Guy, oh no, my job is so hard. I do so much. Please appreciate me more, Miss Goblin. <laughs> Listen, it is hard. It's hard to stay focused. I have a real rough time with it. People who can just con consistently focus, or even just focus on multiple things at once. That's impressive. That's pretty impressive. Starghost, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Happy Valentine's Day, the cutest goblin I know. <laughs> thank you. Oh man, thank you. All right, we're almost there. We're almost, we're almost through these. Nomad, thank you for the ear wiggles. Okay, I can't wiggle my knuckle ears, but I can wiggle these ones. Uh, Twisted Sylvan, hell yeah, everybody's sexy, heck yeah. <laughs> everybody's sexy and we appreciate everybody. Onyx, we love you, honey. It's not hard work when you care. Onyx, look at you being smooth as heck. My mods are nice and kind and smooth. <laughs> Crozzy, thank you for the hundred shinies. So we're pulling a Pygmalion for Valentine's. <laughs> Someone put that under the post and I was like, oh. Oh no, it's so true. It's so true. That's exactly what we're doing today. I'm making myself a wife. <laughs> oh. Mwah. <laughs> Quite the catch. Do you take requests on drawings? I have a character I drew, however, I don't have a computer or anything to make it shine. I can send you a picture character if you'd like. Yeah, I don't mind if you want to share it in the Discord. I don't to always take requests. Sometimes I do, but n not always. Because sometimes I, I just, I got an idea and I want to bring it to life. Gecko, honestly, I wish you could help more. Feels like I've been wondering less here. No, Gecko, you do, you do so much. Don't, don't, don't even worry about it. You do awesome. <laughs> uh, okay. The, spe the 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 thematic redeems have happened. Let me let me get those going. <laughs> Aura, thank you for that redeem, and Akiba, thank you so much. Let's let's, let's combine those. Add to the power. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> ada ada. <laughs> hey, sugar. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> All right. Nice. Whew. <laughs> Garrett, I asked my crush out today. She says, yes. Oh my gosh, that's awesome, Garrett. Congrats. Oh, I'm so glad it worked out. <laughs> Valentine's Day is a real neat day to, to confess to someone. It's, it, it can be both good and bad, depending on what happens. But I don't think it's a bad day to ask someone. You'll... <laughs> 
Kiyo Kami. I'm not on the stream often, but every time I watch it brings a smile to the face. Oh, thank you. I love streaming. It makes me it makes me smile. I have a lot of fun with y'all. Thank you. Tally, honey, as the Smexies community, we get it from our short set gobbly. <laughs> the most respectful and smexy community out there. That's really important. It's it I've seen a lot of communities and have been scared to interact with them, but y'all are so polite and so thoughtful. I appreciate that. <laughs> Onyx, yeah, that was that was smooth as heck. Jeez. <laughs> J-Dubbed always, always coming in when I assert dominance. <laughs> hey, Hunter, welcome. I hope you're having a good time. Just warming up before I do some, uh, some spicy art. It's a little bit spicy. It's not too spicy. Not, not like Terms of Service breaking spicy, but a little spicy. <laughs> oh, spicy beads. Speaking of requests, could you draw my waifu for me? She looks exactly like a pint of beer that refills itself. Oh, that's a cool waifu you got. <laughs> Super Saiyan God, feels like another day for me. It slowly reels me with Pasolin. However, like a fool, I hope I'm against it. I think, honestly, uh... <laughs> If you focus on yourself, maybe maybe this is just a mentality that I have, but it's just like, I get self-absorbed in projects and that's how I feel happy. When I see a project finish, that's a good kind of satisfaction that keeps me going. <laughs> Telly, not like Johnny Genderman art, cause that was, it was, that was unintentionally spicy. I did not mean to make Hunky that spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll ship this goblin wife with Honky. <laughs> Since I don't know how I feel about shipping myself with characters, maybe I'll just send send then send the waifu to get shipped with Honky. <laughs> At least it's not like Zentria's chat. Zen Zen and her chat have a mutual bullying relationship, from what I understand. So it's it's it is. They both get something out of it, and they're both okay with it. Start a patron for your art? I have considered that. I just don't know what I'd put on there yet. Like, I could try tutorials for like my my uh my process, but you can kind of see that on my streams. Michael, since my last joke fell flat, how about another? What lace at the bottom of a sea the sea and twitches? A nervous wreck. <laughs> I, I think the last joke just kind of went over my head. It was too smart for me. But alright, Neko, thank you so much for the song redeem. You've been so patient. I really appreciate it. Whew. Alright. Hey, Olga Zar. It's going good. It's a good Valentine's Day. It's time to sing a song real quick. And then we can do some some slightly spicy art. <laughs> slightly spicy. Not that spicy. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna sing a little bit of a song. It's 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 an appropriate song for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna sing a song by Nat King Cole called Love. I like this one. So it's gave white person spicy. <laughs> so mild. Alright, let me let me take a sip. <clears throat> if it's humanoids, it's spicy to honey. Everyone is hot, what can I say? <sighs> All right. L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary e is even more than anyone that you adore can love is all that i can give to you love is more than just a game for two two in love can make it take my heart and please don't break it love was made for me and you. <laughs> L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one 
I see. He is very, very extraordinary. He is even more than anyone that you could adore can love. Is all that I can give to you. Love is more than just a game for two. Two in love can make it. Take my heart and please don't break it. Love was made for me and you. Love was made for me and you. Love was made for me and you. <laughs> Get used to that. It's gonna be love songs tonight. <laughs> love songs and lo-fi. Let's go. <laughs> Heck yeah. Alright. Alright. Yep. I remember to tweet the stream today. Yes. Yes. Hey. I forgot, I gotta move forward my chat. Awesome, Neko, thank you for the song redeem. Moving stuff over so that I can read while I do art. Yeah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> I had to move my monitor over just a little bit more. Yes, okay. What spicy foods do you have on the menu? Like spicy chicken? Ooh, yeah, we got chicken wings. We've got curries. Spicy soups are pretty good, actually. Art. Let's do some spicy art. <laughs> hey, Discord Joker. Happy Valentine's Day. Can move my mic a little closer, so I really hope I don't make. I'm not too loud. All right, let's do a rough. Sertuna, Lower Your Expectations by Bo Burnham is a great song. I I love that song so much. Bo Burnham songs make me laugh so much. His most recent special was very, very intense though. I will I will give give people that. It's a lot. It is a whole lot. Quite the catch. If you want, you can do exclamation point discord. It gives you a link. I love this song or this playlist. It's just good. I don't play League, but the music that Riot makes is pretty good or the people they hire to make the music. And we're not too spicy. No, I will make it just spicy enough. Spicy. Can I have a little bit of spicy in my art? <laughs> hey, Saber, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Soul Artist, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Happy Valentine's. Thanks for helping it be not as lonely. Of course. Thanks for hanging out with me, too. Keeps me from getting lonely. Also, I just love doing art on Mondays. It, it kind of lets the week start off really nicely, you know? Can't quite explain it. Make it Carolina Reaper rip hyper spicy. <laughs> I don't know if I can make you that spicy. I would get a little bit too flustered by that. We're we're instead just gonna just gonna do a very simple simple pose. How spicy on a scale of one to ten? Ten is ten is like terms of service breaking. Then probably a. Seven? Maybe? Ish? Space is good, it gives flavor. Exactly! You gotta mix it up every once in a while. Have some good flavors in there. Alright, so y'all know how much I love fish people. I, I have to accept it at this point. <laughs> but... <laughs> now let's go eight? We're pushing it. We're pushing it. <laughs> So I, I want I want to make her a Triton. I'm gonna uh, I really want to make her a Triton with a tail. Said Montana light snack. 
<laughs> just a little spicy, you know, just just for a little, little uh... <laughs> I can't even finish that sentence. <laughs> like showing shoulder? Uh, yeah, maybe actually. That's not a not a bad one. To me, shoulder showing shoulder is not particularly sexy. Like, it's all about the mood and the kind of look they give you. The like, the, like half half closed eyes, just like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Spice just beaties <laughs> I hate how much I understand that. Actually, no, I love that. I love that so much. I'm gonna tell that to Cove and see what she says. <laughs> Next time she wants to. Because Cove, Cove has a much higher spice tolerance than I do. So next time she's just like teasing me about how I can't eat as spicy foods as her, I'm just gonna be like, so you. <laughs> You're really into the uh, punishment, aren't you? All right, let's see. Let's do it. Let's do a, an upper body shot. That way, I can kind of get used to the proportions. Excuse me. She won't have her ankles showing. Yes. No, I'm not gonna draw her ankles. <laughs> Feet are notoriously hard to draw, and I do not want to do that. Honey, what's that bedroom eyes look at Listen, bedroom eyes are hard to draw because that means you have to make eye contact with them. And that's just a hard thing to do. So she's, she's, she's gonna be looking away from me, honestly. I'm not gonna make eye contact with this picture. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if Aquaman were real, you'd be heading down to the beach? Listen, listen Jason Momoa. That's a that's a good looking Aquaman. I did I did enjoy the movie. It was a good time. Spicy foods actually make people happy. Have you seen sad people eat spicy food? <laughs> True. There, there's a reason uh, people have expressions sort of like. Uh, yes, the spice of life makes you happy. I can't think of the expression right now. I'm too busy thinking about drawing eyes. Let me see. <laughs> hmm. Trying to think of... I think that these ears might look a little too bat-like. Let's, let's pin them back a little bit. Because we're not going for... Tiefling, we're going for like a uh, Triton. Tieflings are real cool, but but the fi fish lady, f fish ladies. So who is honey drawn? I'm drawing my wife. Was I? <laughs> I want to draw a waifu. <laughs> Listen, this is the state we're in this Valentine's Day. Don't address it. It's fine. <laughs> My great grandfather was a famous circus clown. Apparently, when he died, all his friends showed up to the funeral. <laughs> I can't tell if that's a joke or if that's actually something they did, because I because I feel like if they if there was a clown that died, that would be how their friends visit them. Comic book artist Rob Liefeld couldn't draw feet, and he would always stop drawing at the legs and the knee. I think I relate to that. A lot of the times, whenever I want to um, draw. Hands and feet. Well, not hands, actually. Hands, I've gotten a bit better with it. But feet, I have to reference 3D models sometimes. Just to get the perspective right, because it's so tough. Hands aren't bad, because you, you can look at those pretty easily. Let's see. Eye direction looks a little bit off. Someone already made a Shape of Water reference. I'm, so, I'm still so scared to watch that movie. I haven't watched it, but I'm afraid to. I'm gonna make her... I wanted to base her off a of Manta Ray. Give her, give her like the, the kind of horns. 
I'm starting to realize she's looking a little bit tiefling-like, but you know what? That's okay. Okay, go afraid of what? <laughs> I'm afraid it might awaken something in me. Maybe I'll watch it then go go live in the sea. Security sooner fish. Yes, I am afraid of that. <laughs> Vapor, thank you so much for the resub. Well, welcome back. It's impressive how fast you did that sketch. Thank you. Uh, it it comes from years of drawn. It takes a long time. There's a lot of shortcuts you learn after drawing for a very very long time. This is just the rough. So there are parts that don't look quite right. Onyx, what if instead of horns you treat them like markings running up along the head with smaller prongs sticking up from above the brow line? Hmm. I think I need to see reference of that. Let's see. I think this eye is a little too far over. Up to all right, let's do a tight rough. Turn this down a little bit. Yeah. Here I thought we'd be getting a getting a pinup of Ave Sapien. Nah, that's a. Uh, Abe Sapien is such a childhood crush for me. <laughs> I love him so much. Besides, it feels weird to ship myself with a, uh, a pre-existing character. I think Air Nomad or Darth Maul tattoo type. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I, think I know what you're going for. I'm so used to drawing like very, very small eyes like this just because that's that's what my eyes look like. I gotta give her like the very pretty big eyes. You're not that big. That's a little big for her head. There we go, that looks a lot better. I see you got pretty big eyes. That is that is true. The <laughs> but my iris is a real teeny. So it's a little bit of a different thing. Um but like I I mean the irises. I'll make her irises really nice and pretty so I can stare into them. Meta, thank you for the hydrate. And salty, thank you for the head pats. And Malk, thank you for the breathe, redeem. Okay. Doing good. <laughs> and she bad, thank you for the posture check. Whew. All right. Let's see. Big blue anime eyes. Ooh. I'm not 100% sure what the color palette would be. So far I'm thinking like, um, I, I looked up pink manta rays a while back and now I'm just like, oh, would that be cool? Pink manta ray would be awesome. I think this one's a little bit too thick. That's fine, this is just a clean rough. I like to think we're getting a sneak peek of what we'll see if you get a girlfriend to decide to invite her on stream. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, 
Part of me, whenever I draw a design I really, really like, a lot of the times I'll just go, oh, I could make a model out of this. But then I'm like, I have no one to give this model to and now I'm too attached to it. What am I gonna do? And I guess the answer is nothing. I'll, I'll just keep them in my repertoire. And stare at how pretty she is. Eat this honey, I'm upset. I just lost an hour long run of risk of rain because the last enemy was a scavenger who can use items you can. Like you can. And if you happen to have the one item that lets you revive once after I kill me. <laughs> Oof. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, though. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Ah, oh, she's so cool. I love pointy designs that are sharp. They just look so aesthetically pleasing. Cobra, sorry to drop on by only to leave in a few minutes, but I really wanted to listen to your voice before finishing a pretty good Valentine's Day. Side note, did you like the little note Aid Sapien sent your way in the picture I shared on Discord? <laughs> Ooh, I'll have to check that out. I, I haven't been on Discord today. Today's been a kind of clean the house day because I needed to clean the house, honestly. The, there were dishes around my desk and those really needed to go <laughs> so i did i did a kitchen clean and made myself some dinner and planned what this this lovely lass was going to look like but yeah don't sweat it if you gotta head out cobra thank you so much for dropping by and saying hi i appreciate it saber Nox, is that you no <laughs> no I'm, I'm, I, this is this ain't me i'm drawing myself a, a wife <laughs> I think I need another layer for the head base. So Honey's fantasy wife was a tiefling. Nah, it's a, I wanted to base her off of a, a, a manta ray, but yes, I will admit, it does look fairly tiefling-like. Abs on fish wife? Yes, Kula Bear, you right. She's gonna have abs. Hey, Dr. Prof. Or Dr. Prof. Hey. Happy Valentine's. Be like me and my roommates, we buy foam plates so we don't have to wash them. Yeah, but then you have to walk outside and put them through the trash. I'd rather just put them through the, the dishwasher. It's just easier. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you. This looks like a Zoran from Breath of the Wild. Maybe a little bit, but eh. It's it's definitely not a sharp <laughs> sharp person. <laughs> that doesn't have the hammerhead shark head. Let's see, the ears should probably be a little lower. I do love the how the Zora from Breath of the Wild are designed though. They're so pretty. I love Gaddison. She's she's so cool. Her design's so nice. Ethis, I sometimes get gifted subs. It's time to pay it forward. Well, thank you, Ethis. I spent I'm spending this Valentine's Day as I've spent all others eating ice cream and watching Netflix. That's not a bad way to spend your Valentine's Day, honestly. Yo, Gary, how's it going? Good to see you. Hope you're having a good Valentine's. I second the shark to <laughs> Yes. Yes. Sharp teeth. Sharp teeth. Sharp teeth. Sharp teeth. Uh, let's do another layer for the hair. Maybe I'll make her horns a little shorter than what I've made them. I do like this curve, actually, though. Maybe 
I'll put it a bit more here. Move it over slightly. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. Spicy beans. <laughs> When my mom was at university, she'd do a group of guys who bought a load of cheap plates and then instead of having to clean them, they'd smash them all in a corner. They called it the crockery corner. <laughs> what? That's amazing. That's that's kind of amazing. <laughs> Dark Dud, welcome back. Welcome back to the tavern. Thank you so much. Onyx, I wonder if having the two head wiggly pieces swept back a bit would look better or not. Like, they stay fixed where they are, but they're just kind of floating back a bit, as though they've taken shape from all the resistance of the waters they move through it. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I would think. Ah! <laughs> Perdigimenez, how's it going? How are y'all doing? Thank you so much for the raid. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I hope you're... <laughs> We're your problem now. Welcome. Welcome, problems. It's good to have you. You keep me busy. <laughs> but yeah, how's it going, Minerva? <laughs> How was your stream? What were y'all doing? Oh, jeez. Jeez. Let's see. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll make them a little bit smaller. Yeah, something like that. Master Doomsaurus. So honey, would you how could you describe your perfect husband new waifu hybrid? Hmm. I don't know. I like <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot I had head pads on. Jeez. I got distracted thinking thinking about my ideal waifu. <laughs> I don't know. Like I have a very, very broad range of tastes. And it's constantly changing. Like some de some designs I wouldn't think I'd be into them, but after some time I'm like, oh no, yep, I understand. I can see the appeal of this. Minerva was wonderful. I took Chad out on a date to Rapture. Oh, lovely. And we realized that it, <laughs> it wasn't what it was cracked up to be. The surface was awful. Dang. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's got such classy advertisements about it though. All the fire and shooting bees out of your finger. <laughs> What's there not to love? Answer moves and check. That's if you TTS. Ah, nice, nice. Man, I keep I keep trying to think if I should install the integrated throwing system, but I keep I keep chicken it out last minute because I'm like, ah, it's so much work to set it up. And also, I I know, I know what might happen. Being shot with fire. If it's romantic, that's that's how they show affection in Rapture. <laughs> I want to give her like the nice the nice side locks. Ah! <laughs> hey, <laughs> Tony, what's what's what was that for? Onyx, thank you for the thousand shinies. Oops, I did it again. I dropped my money. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I read that in the, the tune of Britney Spears when you said that. <laughs> I dropped my money. It's in the little midst of a teeny goblin. I have to stop carrying my coins in my open hands. Start carrying them in little bags or something. Yeah, like a little, little, little pocket change purse, Onyx. You keep dropping your coins and refu refusing to take them back. There is no finder's fee here. Thank you, Onyx, though. <laughs> oh, you, you did not have to. Thank you. Bill, I have planned to give everyone I know a Valentine's gift so no one feels left out. Nice. That's what we used to do in my... Uh... <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> um, that's what, that's what uh, my class always did whenever Valentine's Day came around. We made it a thing where the teacher was like, okay, if you're going to bring a Valentine's, you have to bring one for everybody. And I was like, oh, 
I'll just buy one of those big old packs of like, you know, the, the tinfoil wrap balls of chocolate. That'll be fine. And there was one year where we got super fancy and my mom was like, let's get some Reese's peanut butter cups because no one's allergic to peanut butter in your class this year. And I was like, mom, that's the smartest thing I've ever heard. And I got to keep the extras. Dog, thank you for the hundred shinies. Thank you. Let's see. Brother Hammerhand, when we're young, our tastes are broad in terms of romance because we've yet to meet the person that just makes us wibbly wobbly at the knees. But when it happens, it's like suddenly life gets a lot sweeter. Yeah. Love is weird. I've definitely had crushes in the past before. It's, <laughs> and they've been fun, but they were very much childhood crushes. Like, you know when you're a kid and you don't really have a concept of like how romance works, but you're like, <laughs> I like this person, but I don't really know what to do about it. And so you just challenge them to races every day during recess and then you beat them and then they don't want to hang out with you anymore. But then the ones that do want to hang out with you, those are your friends. <laughs> Scribble guy, thank you for the reset. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, we would have thought just three months ago. It's a uh, congratulations, three months. Minerva, as you do, yes, challenge them to a physical competition. You know, just you. <laughs> Very Amazonian of me now that I'm looking back on it. I'm like, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Little baby honey was a competitive person. <laughs> oh. Wrath. Yeah, love is weird and challenging. 14 plus years single. You're not alone. Takes some people a while. Love is weird. And yet we crave it so much. Understandably so. It looks like a lot of fun. Quite the catch. Do you want my big Reese's heart? My mother gave it to me as well as three cake pox, but I was wondering if you want it. I love, I love Reese's Pieces. Wait, Reese's Pieces? Pieces of Reese's candy. I, lo I love the peanut butter cups. They're so, so good. Peanut butter and chocolate's the best combination. Except for chocolate and salt. That's a really good combination, actually. Pigu, <laughs> thank you for the earwiggles. <laughs> nice, nice. Honest, oh. Onyx, you're right though. Caramel and salt. Oh, that's a good one. When I was a kid, one of my favorite candies was just uh, those chewy caramels that were wrapped in like transparent wrappers. So good. Didn't eat anything else. I would trade so much of my siblings' Halloween candy for those. It was awesome. Chocolate and sea salt caramel. Oh, Minerva, you're right. Oh, that's so good. Michael, I remember a few times growing up watching cartoons, I'd really like seeing the female characters on screen. Didn't really make a connection back then. I was just really interested in them when they were on screen. Princess Allure from Voltron is the name that comes to mind. Ah. Oh. I think, I'm trying to remember my, one of my earliest crushes. Uh, probably... Hmm. S probably Inuyasha and Sashomaru? And then, like, also Sango? Like, that's just, that's, those three are just, they're so hot. And they're just so powerful. I love that. Creepa, thank you for the resub. Welcome back, welcome back. Valentine's sub anniversary, good day of giving love to everyone, is what I think of today. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. Happy Valentine's Day, Creep. <laughs> Creepa, sorry. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. Whenever now I crave things that are bad for me. Oh, that's, I always crave things that are bad for me. It's not good. Detective Moon, life's like a box of chocolates. Sometimes you get that weird bitter fruit goo covered in paper thin layer of flavorless chocolate that fills you with unfathomable rage. And sometimes you get the caramel ones. Yep. <laughs> that's a, uh, that's true, geez. That's why they have a guide in it now. Have you ever heard what I call like to call a Reese's sandwich? It's a peanut butter and Nutella. It's so good. Okay, pe yes, peanut butter and Nutella is delicious. But I haven't called it, that makes so much sense to call it a Reese's sandwich. I've never called it that though. I've called it peanut butter and Nutella, which is just too much of a mouthful. Clearly, clearly I needed to think this through more. Let's see. Front bank looks pretty good. I need to make the face a little bit wider, just generally. All right, let's do the body. Rest, Starfire or Raven? And yeah, Inuyasha had some hotties. Great, <laughs> the female one's attitudes kind of suck. Eh. I, I remember Raven and Starfire. Very cool. I wanted to be a lot like Raven as when I was a kid. She just always seemed to be so calm and under pressure. Honey likes strong and powerful people? Yes. A lot of the confusion when I was young was like, do I like you or do I want to be like you? And that was a difficult thing to distinguish as like a 10 year old. <laughs> Quite the catch, don't sweat it. I didn't, I, I missed the first one, so it's all good. Carrot B or B, gotta feed my hands. Nice. Have fun feeding the puppers. Let's see if I do like face markings. Let's make it a lower opacity layer. Even even lower. Jeez. Whew. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Good evening, Grim. How are you doing? This this lovely, lovely Valentine's. That's how you always know it's grim. It's just that sound clip. <laughs> Thanks, Skyford. Welcome, welcome. I'm probably gonna give her like the 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 gladiator mask like markings. I do really like these markings when they like loop around here. My first crush was Ryoko from Tenchi Muyo. Hmm. That sounds really familiar. Oh, the name Ryoko, but then again, it's probably been used a couple times. Hey, Lily, how's it going? How was your stream? Grim must be perceived. Grim comes in and smashes the door <laughs> every time they come here. It's 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 fun. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, I'm gonna do like the you know how there's like Tritons might have fish gills. Let's let's do the markings here. Fire Newt, thank you for the black burden. <laughs> nice. Did you move in Muyo and loved Hina were the harem anime? Oh. I didn't watch too much harem or well, to be fair, much anime uh, when I was a kid. My parents are pretty good at like keep keeping that <laughs> away from me, just like Actually, just generally, my parents didn't really 
have a television, so... I mean, we had a TV, but it was just connected to a DVD player, so we just watched movies. That was fine. I had a lot of trips to the library, so that was nice. Grim, we'll have to, <laughs> we'll have to when a certain short gob doesn't reply for like eight hours. I'm sorry. I get busy and caught up in art. <laughs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yo, Steez, how's it going? Yes, it's, it's a little bit spicier of art than I usually do. Not that much spicier, but but just a little bit. I think from what I remember, I think my first crush was Lola from Space Jam. Ah, that seems like a pretty common one, actually. I never watched Space Jam, so I guess I missed out. Let's see. Chist. Let's put her in a tube top. Easy, simple. Don't have to think about it too much. Gotta add the hips. And let's do, let's give her like under the rib markings. Maybe I just like markings. <laughs> Maybe that's how Abe Sapien <laughs> influenced my taste. Spicy art, how scandalous, I know, right? <laughs> It's 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 slightly spicy. <laughs> it's barely spicy now that I'm looking at it. I need to get the base down though so that I can rotate it properly. I've always crushed on she, surly goth girls. She go my Sam Raven. I'll go on, but I start blushing. Understandable. Actually, I love Shigo now that I think about it. That was actually probably one of my earliest crushes. Man. Every time she goes in, in an episode, I was so happy. But that might have just been, like, good writing. So, who knows? Brother Hammerhand, I was- I can only say I was only ever truly in love with someone once. Ooh. Met her once when I was still in college. We got along like cereal and milk with a generous scoop of cereal. <laughs> Told her how I felt and then our friendship ended shortly after that. Moral of the story, love is a gamble and you gotta prepare yourself to lose and sometimes lose hard. And that is true. It's uh... Sometimes the feelings aren't always reciprocated, but that is okay. Not everything always works out the way you want it to. And, and confessing is real hard. I'm going to give her big arms. She's going to have big old biceps. Let's see. Pelvis. I'm going to fudge this a little bit because I'm not actually going to draw too much of it. Give her like the the like sleeve markings that are uh, like bracer levels. Quite the catch. Which do you prefer, drawing in two D or three D? I personally draw prefer drawing in a two D style. I like both. Both have their pros and cons. Um, I find it's harder to do three um, D or very hi highly rendered art just because I haven't practiced it that much. So I'm very used to drawing in 2D style. All right, let's try. Okay, now that I kind of got a base down. I forgot you have a list of hot fishmen that you're attracted to. There's not that many hot fishmen. There's not even that many fishmen. It's, it's specifically Abe Zapian, okay? <laughs> Changes, but yes, everyone in the X-Men was really, really hot. Yes, oh my gosh. 
I loved Rogue. She was so cool. Rice and such, thank you for the gifted sub. And Solo, thank you for the hydrate. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, moved my monitor over. It's fine. All right, let's see. What's a good pose? Hmm. Solo artist, thank you for the posture check as well. Jeez. This is good for me. <sighs> All right. <Whew. laughs> Zap, thank you for the resub. Sorry I missed the last few streams. Went on a long road trip and only had mobile data. Yeah, of course. Don't don't ever worry about missing my streams. It's totally fine. I hope you had a good road trip. Creepa, it's funny now that I think on it. I don't remember any cartoon crushes or anything like that from my childhood. Then again, I was a very odd child. Truth be told, I still am as an adult. Yep, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and thank you for the the, the breathe redeem. <sighs> and thanks for the head pass, Space Voyager. Whoop. Did I press the right thing? Yes, I did. Awesome. All right, let's just fumble around and see if I can come up with a pose. Honestly, you're gonna give her the fish person design staple of fins on the forearms and calves. Also, what if you named her Ostris, which is derived from the scientific name for manta rays? Mobula Virostris. Hmm. Ostris. I am still thinking of names. So f <laughs> I haven't got. I've only got a couple names in mind, but like, maybe maybe at the end of the stream we can we can jumble some names and I'll write them down. The one comic guy, thank you for the reset with Prime. Welcome back. And we're back. <laughs> thank you. Let's see. Gonna add the contraposting, because I don't know what pose to do with it. Hmm. Call it undying. <laughs> Yeah, that that name's actually taken. That's such a <laughs> That's actually a really good name though. I'm sad that I probably won't be able to name her Undyne. Jewel the Queen, thank you for the resub. You great and do great things. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say. I really appreciate it. Well this be, is this type of wife that will pick you up and pin you to the wall so you're defenseless wriggling yours. <laughs> yes. Yes, 100%. Let's see. Maybe I'll just do like sitting down in a bathing suit. That, that's kind of spicy, right? <laughs> Undyne is legally distinct. Uh, yeah, and, and technically they don't own a name, but also like I won't be able to think of this of that name without thinking of Undertale. So dang. Ah, maybe another name like that though. Let's see. What kind of poses? Oh I did I did I forgot I did composition tests. Let's see. Let's see. Cause yeah, I did a couple of doodles of her earlier because I was like, oh, I like this design. Let's let's do it on stream. Uh, but yeah, let's see. This one's pretty good. I could do a three quarter of this one. There we go. 
Declan, I think you gave her bedroom eyes without giving her bedroom eyes. <laughs> yep. Yep, I think I might have. I just gave her pointy eyes. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, those don't look like bedroom eyes. They're not quite bedroom eyes. It's 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 a little bit different. So let's push the head angle a little bit. That way I can practice drawing her from different angles. What if you named her after an underwater plant? Like how land flowers are common for girls' names. Ooh. The only underwater plant I know is like eelgrass and seaweed. Suppose you can do is her lying on a surfboard since she's a manta ray and the great name for her is Coraline. Ooh. That's true. Coral Coral's not a bad name. I don't know how I feel about coral. Just because I actually I actually know a coral. Um uh, Iora. And th that's one of the downsides of uh <laughs> Naming characters is like, oh, there are some really good names, but this is this name is attached to someone I actually know. So I have to think of a new one. Ugh. But actually, yeah, putting her on a surfboard would be really cute. Gilly? Oh, that's cute. Let me write that down. Onyx Coral was Nemo's mother's name. Oh, really? I don't remember because Nemo's mom was only there for like two minutes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't remember that. Let's see, how do you sit on a surfboard? I kind of want to go surfing one day. I've always been a little too afraid. Just because waves are scary. Spanish word for sea is mar. What about mara? Ooh, let me write that down. Mara is a nice one. Kelp or kelpie? Ooh. Nicknamed to kelp or kelpie. Was there an earlier one? Kelphine? Ah. Gecko, yes. <laughs> Sucks that coral's off the list. It would have fit so well. But yeah, I, I know a coral and I don't want to explain to the... To the <laughs> Hey, why did, why did you draw this character? What's their name? Oh no. Oh no. This is a spicy fish lady. No. <laughs> Let's see. A warm cup of tea. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. And Space Voyager, thank you for the gifted sub. How about naming her Anemone? Hmm. That sounds like an enemy. Anemone. I know. I know. It's a. It's, it's a type of um, thing that ex uh, it's, it's. It's. I forgot what it's called. They they interact with urchins sometimes. Man, I want to go to aquari an aquarium. Yo, Vivi, what's good? God, surfing would be so scary. I'm terrified of the ocean. Understandably so. There are some real scary things in the ocean. But also, hot fish ladies? Is that worth the risk? Is it? <laughs> Dragon Brethren, thank you for the resub with Prime. Welcome back. Emerald, why not Jewel? Hmm. Jewel might be okay. I might want to go into a specifics. Like, if you have a specific Jewel name. Marine? Ooh. Or Marina. Ooh, that's not bad, actually. Mango juice. I stepped away from work and missed the final image you were drawing before this one. Ah, no worries. Okay, I put it right there. Maybe she's just hanging out there. Might need a couple revisions on this design, but I think this is a pretty good place to start. There we go. 
I love Marina and the Diamonds. That might actually be a nice little reference. <laughs> Troy McClure was banned after an incident at the aquarium. Troy McClure. Oh, that name sounds so familiar. The problem with like my kind of memory is like you will recognize names, but you won't know where they're from. All my brain wants to do though is say Troy McClure in a very, very funny voice. Like, Troy McClure. And maybe that's part of why I remember it. But taking her to the aquarium being sensitive. I feel like it'd be the equivalent of taking uh, someone from land to a zoo. Kind of the same. All right, let's put a surfboard here. How about Kwana, based off the Scottish Gaelic word Kwan for ocean? I don't know how I'd... Hmm. It's not a bad one. Let's see. Kwan. I'll write them down. There's some good name ideas I couldn't, wasn't thinking of. Perlina. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, see, that's the thing about watching Steven Universe is like, I now associate certain gemstones with certain characters. Oh, no. Imagine full name Aqua Marina. Mary for sure. Aqua. Well, I think Marina might just be good. Anemone, perhaps, like anemone. Also, you have the opportunity to make our bathing suit a seaweed wrap like sushi. That's true. I could I could make it a little bit more uh, sea-based. Let's see. I think her face needs to be a bit sharper. Just giving me Catra vibes. Oh yeah, I th I think it might be the 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 way that the markings frame the face. Actually, you might be right. Funnelman, thank you for the hundred shinies. I'm so sorry I missed your message. Where people have underwater zoos with tanks filled with air, just like we have aquariums. I feel like that'd be way too much. Well, yeah, that'd probably be way too much work. It's a lot easier to maintain water out of, out out on land than it is to maintain air under the sea. Names aside, if I were a fishman and I caught her, I wouldn't throw her back in the ocean. <laughs> you gotta let her let her swim. Be free. Alright, that's a pretty good base. Let's do a correction layer. Don't mind the backwards words. I am just correcting this. Do a tight rough. Give you a bad dad joke. What do you call a pudgy psychic? A fortune teller. <laughs> nice. Is that all the wasabi? Wasabi's good. I like wasabi. I also really like sashimi. It's just so tasty. Oh man, now I want sushi. Oh, it's been so long since I've had sushi. It's been so long since I've actually gone outside and eaten something from a restaurant. A lot of what I've been eating right recently is my own cooking, which is great because it means my skills improve in the kitchen. But also, I, I can't make sushi as good as restaurants can. Well, too small. A few other ones I have are Oceana, Nessie, Octavia, Flora, Flower Line, Samantha. Oceana's a pretty good one. I like that one. Let's 
see. Onyx, I got a few on deck. <laughs> nice. Let's see, willows? We got willow. Moon. Ooh. Have you watched the movie Mune? It's real good. Uh, Poseidonia, Mobula. I think Mobula. Sounds cool. It sounds like a villain name, but still cool. Rain, Gilbert. <laughs> Sweep and Sandy. The most obvious lady name of all. Of course, of course. Fishmonger, I was going to tell you a time traveling joke, but you didn't like it. <laughs> uh, I like that. I like that joke a lot. <laughs> Anglerine, Ilsa, Squid. <laughs> Squidwardia. <laughs> That'd be a pretty good one. Or Snailara are all I got. Hmm. Anglerine's pretty cool. Coming up with all the good fish names. It's, is this fish hook with you? <laughs> I feel like that she might not appreciate the fish hooks in the water. Might get stuck on her. Gosh, I... I think one of my one of my cousins got a fish hook stuck in their arm once. Oh, it was rough. Oh, that that sucks. Ponyo just came to mind, and fish that became girl through the power of love. Yeah. It's 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 kind of like a Little Mermaid movie, honestly. It feels like Little Mermaid, but with much lower stakes, if that makes sense. Let's give her like really nice defined shoulders. Biceps, biceps. Let's see. Torso would be rib cage here, hip bones here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Why not a name that has nothing to do with the ocean, like Oasis, named, or named after a cacti lay, like Rebutia? Yeah, I don't mind names that aren't ocean related. I guess also naming a, uh, <laughs> a Triton for a very ocean-like name would kind of be the equivalent of name naming a kid from land like grass or palm tree. <laughs> What did one ocean say to the other? Nothing, they just waved. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Let's see. Hip bone, hip muscle, butt, uh, thigh. This. Here's a joke for you. My doctor told me I'm pre-diabetic and because of that they told me I'm not allowed to watch you anymore because of how sweet you are. <laughs> Thanks. Listen to your doctor. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Onyx, really nice to find shoulders. Honey, totally not bright red. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. I'm, I'm definitely not embarrassed by it. It's fine. Chad is distracting me with the good jokes, so I don't feel too too distracted by spicy art. It's all good. All good. I don't know why I just have Fee as a name for some reason. Fee. <laughs> maybe with maybe with an A to be fancy. Fee. That fish need abs. Yes. You're right, Cam. She needs some abs. Also, yo, Manny, how's it going? <laughs> Hope you're doing good. Her name could be Anemone Shimi, like Anemone and Sashimi, and her bathing suit could possibly be color palette. Could reference spicy fish rolls to further portray how she is a very hot fish lady. <laughs> Ooh. I was just thinking of putting her in a bikini, honestly. Now I just gotta draw 
perspective on the chest. This one needs to be moved over a little bit. No, that doesn't quite look right. Let's see, A ups for Fish Lady. One, two, and then. Right about there. Abs. There we go. Hey, Maria, how's it going? Don't worry about it being late. Random, what's it called? Just lurking while I draw. Hey, hope you have a fun time lurking. To catch a few ideas for extra details. Give her a fish hook earring, broken glasses she found because manta rays are very intelligent. Seashell tattoos, a coral comb in her hair, a seaweed satchel, a doubloon necklace. Thank you. Also, a good name is Octavia. That's not a bad name. Let's see. I just want to make her beefy. <laughs> Strong. Let's see. The hand needs to be moved over a little bit. Overlap her leg. I can probably. I'll just do a stand in hand for that. I can do the anatomy for that a little bit later. Oh, this arm is too long. Gotta be a little bit shorter. needs to be stretched a little bit more. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Onyx, you're doing Hunky Goblin a favor today. <laughs> I'm drawing him a girlfriend. It's fine. Tomboy waifu. Yes! Strong waifu. Let's go. This is the honey here. <laughs> What kind of things do you need for digital art? Uh, if you get a tablet and uh, the program I use is Clip Studio, that's definitely all you need really to start doing digital art. Wrist needs to be thicker. Let's do the features on a separate layer because we want to keep things neat. Honey harem is just a bunch of hot fishmen like you see me. <laughs> uh, maybe one day I'll draw my childhood crushes. That'll be a neat stream. I'm gonna push them back a little bit. Bum -bum. Yeah, Krita is a good free option if you can't afford Clip Studio. <laughs> Rubsy Lee, strong enough to carry a goblin? Listen, that's, that's most people, generally. It is not hard to lift us. We are usually under three foot five and uh, very light. Jim, thanks for the hydrate.
Deathwing. Dude, most people could yeet a goblin. Exactly. It's not hard to throw a goblin. <laughs> we are very, very, uh... Well, we're not aerodynamic. But you could, you could shot put us pretty far. I think I made her eyes a little too... big here. feel about people writing fan fiction of honey uh personally i'd rather not just because like fan fiction is very personal <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it, it is different from visual mediums writing is a lot harder and there's a lot of thought that goes behind it but a lot of the times it is also kind of putting words to a person that might not be right. So it's a weird area that I'm not quite sure about. Soul shape plus side. We can trust you as far as we can throw it? Yeah, you can throw me real far. <laughs> All right, I should probably... Pointy. Ah, I dropped my pen. <laughs> Giggo, yeet the fan fit. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. This looks better. Moon. The fins on the side of her head could look like a smooth edged wings of a manta ray that curve into the shape of a lunar moth with wings. With that tail part. But the tail is thicker in the top and the fin. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Detective Moon. I'm glad you like it. So yeah, another option for the ear would be to keep it like this going into her the back of her head. That is another really good option. It's very different than what I usually draw now that I think about it. It's just because usually my the things I draw are a lot softer. <laughs> so this is kind of one of the rare opportunities where I get to draw someone pointy. Sledgeman, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. Man, hard to believe it's been two months already. Congratulations, and thank you. Hey, Dragon Wolf, how's it going? And Wandering Dragon KVC, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. Take a seat, relax. Hope you're having a good Monday. Tony, honey fanfic. Honey bonks the author for the evil idea they dropped some streams ago. <laughs> Yeah. This eyelash needs to be a bit thicker. I want to give her like a big happy smile. You can also show off the pointy teeth this way. Smiles are hard. Onyx. I can lift many goblins. It helps when with picking fruit, though I do find it annoying when they eat a third of the harvest during the picking process. I do wish they stopped trying to eat the birds. Some of them aren't real and very expensive to rebuild. But so tasty, though. 
<laughs> but yeah, we shouldn't eat those mechanical birds. I know you work hard on those. What expression will she have? Lip biting is usually good for spice. That's a good point. Lip biting is very good for spice. Another idea for a name? Serena. Ooh, Serena's a good one. I keep flipping it. <laughs> There we go. I swear my handwriting is better than this. Uh, Miraquan, thank you for the breathe redeem. Quite the catch. She can't be lighter than me. I'm almost 18 and only weigh 110 pounds. But are you three foot five? <laughs> that is the question. It's easier to throw people who are short. We all know this to be true. Let's see, what, what would a lip bite look like? Let, let's do some test lips. Oh, but it's so cute when she's smiling. <laughs> just, just, just confidently smiling. It's so cute. But yeah, let's see. Lip bite? How do you how do you draw a lip bite? Uh oh, okay, one sec. Lip bite. Is that what a lip bite looks like? What if I just move this over here? <laughs> that doesn't look right. <laughs> God, thank you for the head pats as well. <laughs> Dwarf tossing is a sport unto itself. Yes, it is a good, good game to have at a tavern. <laughs> this looks like she was blowing raspberry. Yeah, it doesn't look quite right. We'll get rid of this though. Oh, right, I gotta draw her hair. the jaw needs to be adjusted if her mouth is up here. There we go. Grim, do you need those mouth references again? <laughs> Grim, no. It's okay. I don't need the mouth references, it's fine. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I might need them for later. <laughs> if I'm gonna draw more of this, maybe. Sharp teeth, sharp teeth. Cute. <laughs> She also might look good with just regular teeth. Mm, that also looks pretty good. <laughs> Quite a sketch. We're not going for that spicy. <laughs> Will we be adding scars? Mm, don't think so. She's got markings though. Dentists draw digital art in their free time would have fantastic mouth references. They would, but I... I don't know. Have you ever seen someone try to draw a super, super realistic mouth? It looks creepy. I don't... It, it's because they're gums, and each teeth is really defined. It's very, very, very strange to look at. <laughs> Raven of Creation, thank you for the ear wiggles. Let's adjust the jawline because it needs to be adjusted just a little bit. Mm. 
Yeah, this looks a bit better. Let's keep going with the hair. Let's actually move this over a little bit more. Don't draw too sharp teeth. Manta rays have very tiny teeth. Okay. Oh well. I might keep it regular teeth for now, just because it's easier to draw. I cannot hear stuff, but she ends up being red. You can name her Palmyria after a type of red kelp. Ooh. Palmyria. Let me write that down. That's interesting. And Machine King, thank you for the posture check. <sighs> I had a tattoo of an anchor that says mom. <laughs> I wonder how many people actually have tattoos of that. It used to be, th be a thing in like cartoons, but I don't know how, how many people actually have those kind of tattoos in real life. reacting to her hand, like she's brushing it behind her ear. How about the name Salus? Hmm. Salus? Maybe goblins born with pointy teeth, feeding them would hurt too if they do. Nah. Start out gumless. Just like most humanoids are gumless and teethless, so only gums. It's cute. <laughs> uh, let's move her features down a little bit. And the eyes up a little. Tiny bit more. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Umi sounds like a good name. Mm. That is a pretty good name, actually. There you go, I wrote it on that layer. Umi. Reminds me of Umami. Yo! <laughs> What? What? When did Cleo get a gun? Gavi, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? Also, when did Cleo get a gun? <laughs> what happened? I'm a little confused and scared. <laughs> Hope I'm on Cleo's good side. We're just, uh, we're just drawing a sexy fish lady. She's pretty. I like her. Chat gives a Cleo a gun on their day. <laughs> what a gift. What a, what a way to woo someone. That sounds amazing. <laughs> what on a crime spree date with Cleo was great. Oh ho, oh ho ho. Oh, Gavi, do you, do you know that song by Ninja Sex Party? Um, where it's called First Date? They, they talk about that specifically. That feels very relevant to what I'm hearing happened. <laughs> Kaito, well, honey, we may have turned into a wizard on a date with Cleo and we gave her a gun and we may have robbed a hat store. I see. I, I see. It's just... <laughs> I hope you had a good stream, by the way. It sounds like it was, it was wild. <laughs> I know y'all have been working on that, that, uh, dem dating sim for a while. I'm excited to watch the VOD and see how it goes down. Kinky Cowgon. <laughs> Thank you for the 500 shinies. 
I roll so to Zeus the, seduce the goblin. One of these days I will succeed. Yet to roll pretty dang high. Let's see. Quite catch. If you want to give her armor, give her some sand dollars wrapped around her body by seaweed. Sand dollars are pieces of dead coral that washed up on the beach. Gabby went really well. Nice. I'm so glad. Son, it was great. Chat didn't win, but we had fun, and that's what matters. Yeah, exactly. That is the most fun part. Or that's the most important part, is to have fun. So I got a little caught off guard when you raided me. I'm a little flustered right now. <laughs> that bug, yo. The real date was the hats we robbed along the way. Nice. Nice, nice. Hope you got a witch hat or a wizard hat. Need to give her like strong leg muscles. She's a strong swimmer. We need to make her head a little bit smaller though. Let's see. Now let's do corrections. Gary, OG Gobby Raid, let's go. <laughs> yeah. So, Nat 100. Not far off. <laughs> let's see. I need to do corrections for this. I need to push the gesture a little bit more. I think having her. Having the, the base is fine, but I think I need to push the spine a little bit more. And then contrapost a little harder. <laughs> Mobius, I believe Honey gets to be... Honey to be rolls dice and excellent host and entertainer. Oh, I thank you. That's a very nice compliment. Living sand dollars look horrifying. Yeah, they're so pretty when they're dead, though. <laughs> Garrett, well, I gotta go to bed now. We'll listen while I sleep. Garrett out. Thanks for dropping by, Garrett. Have a good rest. All right, let's see. Yeah, I think I need to push the spine a little bit more. I'm using the wrong pen. That's what. That's what that was. Hand still looks fine. Kinky cow god. Thank you for the hundred shinies. I dropped my coin purse in front of the goblin. Others may treat you like a queen, but I can dress you like a goddess. <laughs> well, why, thank you. That's very kind of you. I don't know what I would do with all the expensive silks I could afford with that. Uh, I, 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 I work in a tavern. It's a quite, quite a messy job. I don't think I would be able to keep clothes clean that long just, just by the mere what the job demands. Trapping her bite the corner of her lip like when canines would be. Or softly biting the tip of her tongue between her teeth while she smiles. Also cute pointy canines like zero two. Hmm. Maybe. Let me, let me do the adjustments real quick. Let's see. Uh, I should probably... First things first, push the torso back. Let's see. That looks a bit better. <laughs> Clip Studio, don't freeze on me now. Okay, good. Mango Juice Spike, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the tavern. Thank you so much. Well, strong tone by fish lady have long tongue. Ooh. Oh, that's something I didn't think about. M maybe, yeah. I, I guess I don't see why not. Do tritons usually have long tongues? Or is that something people don't really think about? <laughs> Alright, let's do that. 
guess. Why do I spicy women when honey gum already is? <laughs> I'm not spicy. Look, look at this this football head. If any if anything, I, I am opposite spicy. And I'm okay with that. Why is goblin so beautiful? This this is a this is not a goblin. This this is a fish lady. This is a triton. Kiki Cow God, thank you so much. I was thinking this would be easier given your bard nature. <laughs> uh, I think I am a little bit of a bard, but I'm also a bit of a very low level cleric. <laughs> I've got the healing vibes. Matthew, I'm talking about you. Ah, I see. I see. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. Uh, excuse me. An undying spirit of water. Are tritons like... Did tritons used to be like elementals? Where it was just the spirit of water? But as a fish person, I don't think that's what they are. But I, I know I know very little of the other um, editions of D and I mostly know about fifth edition. All right, that looks a lot better. Let's put on clothes because she should probably have clothes. <laughs> Make it green. Mix it up. A triton, how long can they survive on land for? I think tritons can survive in both uh, water and land. That's the benefit of playing a triton, is you could do both. You are not impeded by water uh, or land, if I remember correctly. Opposite of spicy, so sweet? Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's a little closer. Ah. There we go. Let's see. <laughs> King Booyah, thank you for the resub. Pro tip, it's not heresy if you don't believe in God. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. A little, little bit of side boob showing? Just a little bit? Tasteful side boob? Ooh, what if what if we did like uh, those bras where they show the under boob? I actually really want to get one of these. <laughs> okay. Listen, listen, listen. She's just, she's just hot. She's just hot. <laughs> Quite the catch. Her weapon can be a couple brass knuckles made from gold she found from a shipwreck. Hmm. I don't, I don't know what kind of fighter she would be actually. I didn't think of that. I didn't think that far. I just thought hot, hot manta ray lady. <laughs> and that's as far as the, the thought went. Gecko, this too hot? <laughs> but, but it looks so good. But Gecko, it looks so good. <laughs> it looks so hot. Look, it's just a swimsuit. It's fine. It's fine. You're not getting, I'm not getting flustered. You're getting flustered. <laughs> This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Can we get a poll for underboob or no underboob? <laughs> oh, I, w I want to keep the underboob. <laughs> Gecko does, but it's too hot. I know, I know, but but I I I said this this art might be a little bit spicy, and and it is. She's she's a little bit spicy. Just a little bit. <laughs> underboob, what a boob. Ooh. Actually, what if we both <laughs> opening at the top too? <laughs> Thanks, Buster. <laughs> Want a string bikini? I mean, like if you're surfing, you're not gonna be wearing a string bikini. You're gonna be wearing like a like a like a the sports top. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. But if if you're going surfing, you're not gonna wear something flimsy. 
I'm all about the the hot looks, the hot swimsuits, but uh, they gotta be a little practical if you're doing sports in them. She's so cool. She's so cool. Look at her. Look at her. She's so cool. <laughs> oh no, she hot. <laughs> make the outfit out of seaweed? Maybe. I, I, it might be easier just to make it seaweed colored. The Dark Messiah, thank you for the song routine. Let me pause this real quick. Darda, go as spicy with the art as you're willing to take it. <sighs> I gotta be careful. I don't want to make it too spicy. That's dangerous. That's a bit dangerous. But yeah, let's see. This I'm gonna sing a song called Prom Dress by Muxtoon? Muzmtoon? <laughs> MXM Tune. I don't know how to pronounce her name. But it's called Prom Dress. Let me take a sip of water. What was on just when I thought I was gonna miss the stream? All right, yeah, glad you made it. Welcome, 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 welcome back. Yeah, let me hum it for a sec. You seen those swimsuits that may are made to be similar to shark skin? I have not. I haven't seen those. No. Gecko, hot beefy tomboy fish, honey, you're killing. I know, I know. I I'm really pushing it with this art. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think I got the tune down. I've listened to this song a couple times, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Debatable. My husband and I sing the song all the time. I love it. It's really good. I really hope I can get the tune down. Let's see. Reldrin, thank you for the hydrate. This is a good time for it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm nearing the end of my fourth year. I feel like I've been lacking, crying too many tears. Everyone seemed to say it was so great But did I miss out? Was it a huge mistake? I can't help the fact I like to be alone It might sound kind of sad, but that's just what I seem to know I tend to handle things usually by myself And I can't ever seem to try and ask for help I'm sitting here Crying in my prom dress I'd be the prom queen if crying was a contest Makeup is running down Feelings are all around How did I get here? I need to know I guess I maybe had a couple expectations Thought I'd get to them But no, I didn't I guess I thought that prom was gonna be fun but now I'm sitting on the floor and all I want to do is run. I keep collections of masks upon my wall to try and stop myself from revealing it all. Affecting others is the last thing I would do. I keep to myself though I want to break through. I hold so many small regrets. And what is down inside my head? Some confidence, it couldn't hurt me. My demeanor is often misread. I'm sitting here, crying in my prom dress. I'd be the prom queen if crying was a contest. Makeup is running down, feelings are all around. How did I get here? I need to know. I guess I maybe had a couple expectations Thought I'd get to them, but no I didn't I thought, guess I thought the prom was gonna be fun But now I'm sitting on the floor and all I wanna do is run 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 
not quite a love song, but it's it's it feels good. It feels good to sing it. All right. But yeah, that song's called Prom Dress. It's really really good. I like it. Oh gosh, Crew Dog. <laughs> Jeez, Guru Dog, thank you for the 10,000 shinies. What the heck? Thank you so, so much. That's a lot. Zuanchi, it feels good, Sadist. <laughs> nah, sometimes it feels good to sing sad songs. Let it out. Feel, feel the emotions. Let them happen. The lovely fish give me some major, core, major Korra energy, and I like it. Ooh, I do really like Korra. Legend of Korra is a good show. Ooh, maybe I should make her have short hair. Long hair is pretty good, though. <laughs> Kinky Cow God. It's such a sad song, but lovely. Who's by? It's by MXM Tune. I don't know how to pronounce their their name, um, but their music is really good. I really like it. I can hear this character sing that song. <laughs> I can kind of hear it, too. It's very, very chill. I like it. Oh yeah, I forgot. If you if you're surfing, you got the uh, you got the little uh, string that attaches to your board, right? Gotta remember to draw that. I have gone paddleboarding a couple times. Not surfing, but paddleboarding is really fun. Are you typically a short hair or long haired gob? Personally, uh, it varies. It, I like short hair on a lot of characters. I also like long hair. Both are very good. It's fun to draw long hair, though. I like to draw how it interacts with, like, hands and clothes and just on people's shoulders. It's fun. Her with short hair would be too much even for me. Ah, it looks- it would look so good, though. Just, like, just if you cut it here, gave her just the side locks that were long, it would be super cute. But yeah, I do really like the long hair. It gives a different kind of vibe. I think I need to make the hand a little bit bigger. A song that I can really sing my heart out with somebody it, with, out with is Somebody to Love by Queen. Oh, I really love that. The first time I watched that movie was when, or when I heard that song was when I watched the movie Ella Enchanted. That was a good movie. I liked it. Michael, let me just say this girl looks lovely and I really want to be your friend. Also, I proposed the name Sylvie. Worth noting, I wrote most of this before you added the bra. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> I will write down Sylvie. That's a pretty good name. Got some good names to choose from here. I'll think about the name a bit more. Let's see, one more round of corrections. And then I think I'm good to start doing the clean lines. But yeah, I can definitely see how this gives big Cora vibes. <laughs> Just kind of give her the short hair. Oh, but long hair is so good. But yeah, the short hair looks really good too. I like both. Hear me out, short hair and zero two teeth to add more spice. So when do we get to see a double date between you fishy there and Coven Fidget? <laughs> uh, I don't know, I don't know. Gecko, but short hair, I know, but uh. Let me, let me, y'all convince you. Let me, let me try seeing what short hair would look like real quick. Let's see, cause the long hair. Let me erase that real quick. I should have probably used the select tool, but that's fine. Oh, that's really cute. Ah, oh, that is super cute. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Listen, she's just hot. She can pull off any look. Longer is great until you have to unclog the drain. Yeah, can confirm. Gecko, I know it's so good. <laughs> it's so freaking good. Oh, why did she have to be so hot? <laughs> uh. You want a short hair, but now I'm long hair club. You can't switch it on me. Zuanji, no, no. This is my villain origin story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
How about ponytails? I love ponytails. Oh, it'd be really cute if I could just draw a ponytail back here with her hair tied up. Oh, that'd be adorable. Anyways, I'm getting too caught up on the hair right now. Oh, I could do, oh, I could, I have the power to do both. I can do whatever I please with her hair and it could be glorious. Maybe, maybe I'll do both to see how I feel. Gecko pole? Oh, oh, both are so good. Short hair is so Tom girl though. It's so adorable. Oh, Dayani's going mad with power. Yes, you cannot stop me. I will do as I please. I will make this spicy. Don't test me. <laughs> thanks, King Draco. <laughs> and thanks, Valen, for the head pats. <laughs> How's it going, Valen? <sighs> Sally, listen, artists have the power to create whatever they please. Check that spice, spice, spice. Oh, I do love spicy drawings. Like just a little, a little bit of spice. It looks good. All right, let's do corrections again. Because you got to do those constantly. Just for anatomy checks and making sure that everything fits together well. That is not correct. What does my arm look like? Okay, yeah, that's what it looks like. Sweet. The elbow here, it would twist. There's two bones there. Okay. Florian, been thinking about creating a swashbuckler laser nicknamed Lady of the Whis Whips, having her using an oversized pirate belt as her over the shoulder boulder holder. It does sound pretty cool, actually. I love pirate ladies. Alucard, reality can be whatever I want. Yes. Exactly. That's why I love art so much. You can just do you can do as you please. Create characters. Make a story around them. It's not easy, but it's fun. Michael, just let me just say this stream is perhaps the best time for me to find out your fan. You're losing your mind over your hot fish girl <laughs> She's so cute! She's also so hot! <laughs> Plink, please, thank you for the breather, team. Litwick, thank you for th for that redeem. <clears throat> Let me get rid of those head pats real quick. All right. <clears throat> Gecko, just add a little tiny bit of spicy and oops, drop the whole jar. <laughs> this this meal is only spice. <laughs> There's no little bit. This is all spice. <laughs> but Litwick, thank you so much. <clears throat> hey, sugar. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, Litwick. <laughs> Polly Mancer, Vegeta broke up with me a couple days ago, I'm trying to stay positive and watching a lot of your videos, but it's rough because she was my first. Stream takes the edge off. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, breakups are always rough. They... But you'll be okay. It is part of life for a lot of people. One thing to be careful of is the rebound, though. Just, just stay single for a little while, and then start dating again. I have, I have seen a lot of friends re <laughs> rebound very quickly, and I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure you're emotionally ready for this? It might not be the best time. If you like someone, maybe wait like another month, and then they just... <laughs> Jeez, grim! <sighs> Thank you, grim. And thank you, Wandering Dragon, for for the head, the the Neko Gob redeem. Vanderwolf, hi, honey. How was your Valentine's Day going? What sort of waifu are you making? I'm making a Triton waifu. Speaking of, I gotta remember to to add the the fish gill or the fish uh, fins. I love fish fins. They're so much fun. They look so cool too. 
Probably put them on the back of the calves? Maybe. I need to make the torso a little bit thicker. Yeah, that looks about right. Nice. <laughs> J-Dub, do you think that because I'm outside the tavern that I wouldn't hear you asserting dominance? <laughs> Shh. Dub, Dub hurt us. Oh no. <laughs> oh gosh, Zana, thank you so much for the hundred shinies. Oh, many, many! Many, you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. And Kekta, thank you for the blepardine. <laughs> All right. Many what? I heard a choo-choo. <laughs> Many hears a choo-choo and then suddenly <laughs> the, 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 the gifted subs start flying. Many. No, you didn't have to do that. Thank you, though. Attila, thank you for the posture check. Uh, all right. Maximus, how was your Valentine's Day? I spent the whole day watching Ghibli films. What do you do? I did art. That's pretty much mostly what I did. I, then I cleaned up my desk, and I made dinner, and I took a shower. Oh, I played a little bit of Bloodborne. That was fun. We're, we're beat Murgo's wet nurse, and now there's just one more boss in the DLC, and then we can finish the game. Sector Moon, honey, hit chat with the cute point. K <laughs> let let me let me look up what the two point K nine teeth are. <laughs> Gecko, thank you, Gecko. Well, you <laughs> what? Florian, thank you so much. That scared me. <laughs> Jeez. Whew. Gecko, thank you so much. Well, you know how the song and dance goes. Oh, I can't stop you. You have too much power over me, Gecko. <laughs> My mod's a certain dominance by throwing shinies at me. <laughs> Will Tomboy Fish Lady have a trident and a buckler shield and dress up like a gladiator? Ooh. That would be pretty cool. I, I hadn't thought about her class or anything. Jeez! Xana, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Oh gosh. Don't forget the long, thin, mended gray tail. Yes! Oh my gosh, you're right. I almost forgot about the tail. Let me let me get on that right now. Actually, I'll put it in the corrections layer. Cause she's a manta ray, so she got a tail. <laughs> Gekki, you might have the power over the spice, but we have the power over the shiny. <laughs> my mods control all of the shiny. That also make me laugh so much. It's amazing. Oh, geez. Smurf Jr., thank you for the thousand Chinese. Oh my gosh. And kept my word, thank you for the gifted sub. <laughs> Yo, Onyx. Onyx. <sighs> thank you so much, Onyx. Oh, sugar, honey, iced tea, even though I have compiled my valuables into a pouch, I cannot avoid the ever-present hazard of dropping them into the waiting midst of the ever-present goblin lady. I guess I need to invest in something more sturdy. <laughs> Onyx, you, you mad lad. <laughs> thank you, Onyx. And Dark Dead, thank you for the hundred shinies. Jeez. <laughs> Glad you're liking those emotes, Kevin. more. <laughs> Gonna be adding more fairly soon, actually. I try to add one once a week, two wait, two a week. I've fallen a bit behind because I'm working on the new uh, anniversary stream model. And it's so much fun. It's so much fun working on it. Honest, tis the season of giving. Thank you. But wasn't that two months ago? Creeper. <laughs> he who controls the shiny controls the streamer. Observe. Gobble tip. Thank you, Creepa. 
All right, but I got her tail. I, I think this is really good. I like her. She's so she's so cool looking. I think I need to adjust the mouth a tiny bit though. <laughs> so Lord to say. <sighs> All right, let's see. Jeez. <sighs> Hi, Grim. Bring in the chaos. Quite the cast. Tail is too thick. It needs to be thinner. Look at manta ray tails. I, I do know what manta ray tails look like, but I'm worried that if it's too thin, it won't suit how beefy her body is. That that would be my main concern, because I can I can make it whoops. A little bit thinner? Let's see. That is the wrong layer. Alright. No worries. Cause if I make it too thin. It kind of looks... <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> Zena! Thank you! That scared me so much. <laughs> I kind of like it how thick it is. It's muscly. Elkard, I can't imagine if you had to stream like Shy Lily. She's on day 13 right now and her top donors are over... 100k bits and her top gifted subs are 3k subs. Jeez, that is <laughs> That is a lot. I don't know if I, I would have the energy to stream that long. That's insane I, That is also a lot of money. I don't know how I would feel about that <laughs> They're my <laughs> your reactions to the sound alerts are great. They remind me of Gomi horror stings. Oh, Gomi's so funny. Gomi is hilarious. Also, I told the hobo, thank you for the posture check. I can't remember if I did it. Good time to do it anyways. Oh, excuse me. All right, this is looking pretty good. Gecko, look at all that love and affection people are giving on Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, y'all are really nice. Thank you so much. Crimson Point, anniversary stream? Has it almost been a year already? Also, good evening. Hope you're doing well. Thank you. Good evening. Yeah, it's almost been a year. It doesn't feel like it. It really doesn't. <laughs> There's another advantage of electronic art. You don't rip or smear something when you get jump scared. That is also very, very true. I must close behind with her being on day 10 of her subathon. Oh my gosh. I don't... I don't know if I could do anything like that, just because, like, I I don't know how comfortable I am with that much money, first of all. That's a lot of money. I, and, and second, I don't know if I would have enough energy to, to stream for that long. That takes a lot of effort. Kept my word, thank you for the gifted subs. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Hootie, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. How are you? Zuanji, no, I should not get accustomed to to to, to the money. <laughs> no, it's fine. Honest, I just realized that in theory, you've given enough shinies to fund three commissions. That is including the commission <laughs> you already did. Yes, you have, Onyx. You have done a lot. That's why, that's why I usually say you do not have to do this. It's totally fine. Thank you, Onyx. But yeah, welcome, Raiders. How are you doing? Soul Shade, well, we're getting more popular, so get wrecked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. I'm drawing some spicy fish lady art. Hey, Ultra Squid. It's just, it's, that's a lot. <laughs> Soul shape! <laughs> Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. That is a whole lot. Thank you, you did not have to. <sighs> Quite the catch. Do you want me to make a bio for her? No, that's okay. I'll make a bio for her later. Hootie, hey! 
Hey, honey, how's the art? I was embarrassing writing letters for Valentine's Day. That's pretty cool. That is pretty dang cool. Man, that's that also sounds super romantic. I hope they were fun to write. Honey's subathon will be more than likely just be Onyx tormenting her with pins. <laughs> it's that's quite possible. That is quite possible. Zayna, thank you. Throw more shiny. No, you don't have to. You do not have to. It's all good. Y'all don't have to throw anything at me. We're here for fun and having a good old time. Don't worry about it. All right, let's do the cleanup. We're drawing a hot fish lady on a surfboard. Let's go. Propose the name Reno. What do you think? Reno's a pretty cool name. Let me write it down. That is not a pen. All right, let's do the features first. Tally, right, no throwing list. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. You don't have to. <laughs> cool Bear, thank you for the thousand. Jeez, Cool Bear, you didn't have to. Shim, no music on the honey stream? More likely than you think. There's music, isn't there? I would hope so. Oh, it's just very quiet? I could turn it up. Y'all should have told me if you couldn't hear it. Let me know if it's too loud. Lincoln, so I had an idea for the hairstyle. Short sides with a longer back that may or may not be tied. Hmm. Man, there's so many good hairstyles. I do love this, this bob in the back and then side locks that are long. It is a pretty good look. All right, let's draw out the features. Okay, I thought the music was okay, but I guess it was wrong. Oh, okay. My message drowned out in the raid. Anyway, I'll retype. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope my charisma of three is high enough for me to win the heart of this goblin. <laughs> this, you need a pretty high roll <laughs> to woo me. But thank you. I appreciate the effort. Did you ever look up what zero two smile looked like or did the toaster noises and raid scare you out of it? They definitely distracted me out of it. Let me look up what zero two smile look, looks like. Let's see. Oh, it's from Darling in the Franks. I see. Looks pretty normal from what I can see. Okay, yeah, just like a little bit sharp. Gotcha. Retro Puffy, thank you for the hydrate. Excuse me. Interior, thank you for the ear wiggles. <laughs> Will 16 with the bonus of 1 be enough? No. <laughs> Sorry, Tyrion. We can hang out, though. It's all good. We can all do art together. Just a group of friends. Quite the catch. If you want to make her more manta ray like, then I would highly suggest making the tips of her horns more round. Ah, that's a good point. Manta ray's got those those round tips. That might be a good move. Give her a little bit of contrast for the sharp features. Wants. Oh, I hope you did well on your test. Final exams are really stressful, and I hope you did well and you're not stressing anymore. Oh, 
Tobias, with this chill stream, I'll be using charisma rolls for kindness with friendship. Yeah. That's a lot lower of a roll. So pointy, she looks so cool. <laughs> onyx, the patented Onyx list of priorities. Pay honey, pay honey, pay <laughs> food, water, medicine, pay honey. <laughs> onyx, that, that that's that should not be the order of priorities. <laughs> Will she be 10? Is that the true that is the true question? Hmm. I don't know. I I, I was thinking of working with a pink color palette, because pink manta rays are a thing, and that could be really cute. Instead of like a blue triton, make it like pink. Quite the catch. Is she a softy or a bad girl? Ooh. Can I have it both? <laughs> she could be a rough and tough softy. <laughs> little bit. Yo, Basil, how's it going? Love this crispy line work. This is, this is, <laughs> I love using this pen. Uh, it is, this is not the clean. This is the rough, the clean rough. If I wanted to do a clean though, I would be using vector lines, but we're keeping it loosey goosey. Also, I love your art, by the way. It's really, really good. Oh, the rust texture? Yeah, I've noticed with your art, it's the line art is real nice and like, it's sharp, but it's also got the the little, um, it looks like you use a textured pen. I love it. It looks really, really good. That's not how you spell iris. There we go. Morning, so she bad girl in the streets and a so did she. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine like a person. What if it was the opposite? What if she was a softie in the streets but a baddie in the sheets? That'd be pretty cool. She's just so cute. <laughs> I love her dorky smile. It's great. <laughs> Come on, upper lip. That is not correct. Come on, come on. A little bit thicker. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Tally, a flawed character personality is great. Rough and tough on the outside, soft on the in when in appropriate company. Kind of like a Sundari. I don't know if she'd be a Sundari. <laughs> Does anyone actually know a Sundari? I, I don't think I, I know anyone who is as extreme as a Sundari that I've seen in like an anime. We're like, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Armor, yes, you're right, actually. Lily, yep. Lily is a Sundari. <laughs> like vampire teeth I think sharp teeth does look good but like this the the regular teeth does look good as well she's already so pointy gotta soften her up a little bit at least her design soul shade I did yandere IRL that was not fun oh that does that sounds real bad <laughs> yandere's are terrifying <laughs> Would not want to mess with them. All right, and base. Cinderia is a shy girls, right? Yeah. The what well, kind of? They're they can't accept compliments. Um, 
and they softly lash out when you are nice to them, kind of? Or when you apply that you they like someone? That's as far as I know about it. I think this needs to be a bit sharper. Yeah, just a little bit. Onyx, she's a manta ray, so technically she shouldn't have teeth at all, but she just have a disturbingly large mouth. <laughs> that would be terrifying. Can you imagine seeing a manta ray and just... It just opens its mouth wide, ready to just eat you whole. That is absolutely terrifying. It's like why I'm afraid of whale sharks. Same thing. Wait, manta rays aren't carnivorous, are they? Don't they, don't they eat plankton? Warehouse Cinderia are in denial. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Howling Monkey. Good evening. Protective Moon, you can make those ear fins smoother and resemble manta ray fins more than fish fins, while making only her canines a bit pointy. Hmm. That is true. Actually, let's kind of adjust the shape a little bit. Ooh, I don't like that. Need a real quick rough of the shape should look like. No, that look oh, dang, okay. Maybe I just drew it wrong. I can also adjust it later. Sometimes it's good to let the art marinade in your brain for like a day. And you can see all the mistakes the next day. Manta rays are filter feeders. They don't hunt, but they do consume small animals. Huh. Good to know. So not much need to be afraid of them, I guess. Wrong pen. That's a tangent. That's less of a tangent. Skin colors could be the co colors of a modded eagle ray. Look it up if you don't know what they look like. Modded eagle ray. Let me look that up really quick. Oh yeah, the, the spotted rays. The one downside with that is I'd have to redraw the spots constantly. I'm always I'm always down for sim simplifying designs because then I can draw them faster. Keeps my attention pretty well. It does look really pretty though. It looks like a sky full of stars. <laughs> Tom, look at how pretty she is. She's so pretty. <laughs> Sharpened matter. Mondays really got me thinking about deep stuff that makes me cry. This stream right here helps take my mind off all of it. Godson, I really mean that. Oh, thank you. No worries. I'm I'm glad I could help relieve some of that that uh, heavy stuff if you need be. Layer, layer. Yeah. Sometimes we all just need a break from what's going on in life. It can be a lot. Yeah, her skin color could be the colors of Mata Eagle Ray. Oh yeah, sorry, I read that. What did someone gift her a cloak of the Manta Ray? She wouldn't need one. What would her reaction be? Hmm. That is a... Oh, I guess... Would that be the equivalent of someone offering, like, human skin to a human? No. Might not be the best. <laughs> that would be a, a gift that someone might not have thought through. Does she have a shiny form like Manta? <laughs> Maybe not a shiny form. Uh, that needs 
needs to be a bit longer. I feel like if I'm gonna make her pink, that's already kind of like a shiny form. Tome so Picarta streamway. <laughs> Maybe in the future, especially if I want to do any anatomy lessons, that might actually be good because Twitch has a thing where you're not allowed to show nudity, but for life drawing, it's important to learn. So, perhaps in the future. Who knows? Fall Archer, just thought I'd drop by and say a quick happy Valentine's Day. Thank you! Happy Valentine's Day to you too! Have a question. Is your creation able to fight? Ah, uh, yes. I I would definitely say so. Look at look at these. Look at those arms. Those are some strong arms. I wanna be that beefy, honestly. <laughs> I wanna be able to lift people up. <laughs> Stream. Limiters room. Don't don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. <laughs> Listen, she's hot. What, what, what can I say to that? <laughs> Onyx, maybe need more than one base color passes. One where she's pink and some where she's more standard red colors like deep blue or brown. Yeah, that's true. I could do a, a bunch of color passes. this over a little bit. There we go. That looks a bit better for eye direction. Now time to do the muscles. Definitely above average strength and charisma score. Yes, I, w I would say so. This should be over here. Such nice shoulders. <laughs> Tally, is she a paladin? High strength charisma? Ooh. Maybe I hadn't that thought that far ahead. That could be really cool. I do want my next character be to be a paladin. I do have them all planned out, so it won't be this character, but... Could familiarize me with the paladin uh, plays book. I'm still one of my favorite pre stream dogs. <laughs> I'm so sorry I did that to you before stream tome. For context, I gave tome a preview because I did a little doodle of this beforehand. And tome was like, oh no, I see your type. Oh no. <laughs> uh, listen, listen, she's just beautiful. She's just hot. <laughs> Queen Homo, thank you for the hundred shinies. It's been a fantastic birthday for me, so I'm stopping by to show some love for the best golf. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday. Can we see all the names so we can already decide to have a name? Also, can I still suggest I will say Nami Shelly or Marina? I do like Marina. Marina's real good. Uh, let me find the list of, it's not this one. Yeah. It's also reversed because I have to draw it with, uh, <laughs> It's flipped right now. Let's see, we got Gilly, Mara, Anemone, Marina, or Marine, Kwana, Luciana, Willow, Mobula, Anglarine, Fia, Serena, Palmaria, Salus, Umi, Sylvie, Rena. Those are the suggestions that really stuck out to me so far. I give it a little bit of time to think. I remember correctly, there's a VTuber who made herself a girlfriend called Pizza Time. I admire that kind of decision making. That quick spur of the moment thought process. 
Oh, the feeling when you draw a really good rough line but can't replicate it <laughs> in the clean line. Oh no. Yeah, that's close. That's pretty close. Oh, see, I just step out. How's that fishwife one? She's doing great. Look at her. She's so she's so fun to draw. I need to move this over a little bit. Actually, no, let's take this one. And yeah, that looks about right. Don't honey, you can be playing a Triton, <laughs> which is built for Paladin. If you don't, I will. Ooh. I didn't know tridents were really built for paladins. I kind of assumed they would be really good as um, druids with the transforming aspect. Especially if you're going to play like a pirate campaign. That would be really good. Quite the catch. Are you left or right-handed? Also, Coraline. Yeah. Coraline's pretty good. I just It just reminds me so much of one of my, my actual favorite film, which is Coraline. So I can't really dissociate the names. But I am right-handed. I can draw with my left hand pretty well. I remember at one point I was really worried about losing the ability to draw with my right hand because tendon issues were so frequent in uh, among my friends that I, I preemptively went, you know what? I want to stop being scared of this issue, so I'm going to be able to draw with my left hand. And I'm okay at it. I'm not great at it, but I can draw with my left hand. Onyx Mobula is pronounced Mobula. Mobula. Oh, okay. Like Mobius. Mobula. Hmm. Gotlin Wizard. Gotta leave room for the gills there. Oh, right, gills. Well. Yeah, might need to leave room for a little bit of the gills. Oh, right. Almost forgot to add the abs. Can't forget that. I want to have real good abs. <laughs> I can like feel them underneath my tummy, but it's 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 so hard to make them show up. Crossy, yeah, she got a tail. What about Mira for a possible name? Hmm. Let me write that down. There we go. We should make a real life innator to make Honey's creation come true as well as a big innator to make Honey's big and strong. Oh, we'd, we'd be getting so close to me making my own wife. And honestly, if Greek stories are anything to go by, that will not end well. Then again, the guy that made his, his ideal wife was not great either. He, his, his kind of appeal was, ah, this is a pretty woman who doesn't speak and is just beautiful and it's like that's kind of that's not great <laughs> but then again he was with a statue at the time so it didn't matter and then Aphrodite went I'm gonna give you a love life and he was like ah this is this is fine this is fine Greek myths are weird Okay, that's kind of sad. Yeah, it's a little bit sad. Mr. Snack, thank you for the head pets. And Saber, thank you for the breathe redeem. <sighs> All right. Make a scrub. Pygmalion is not a good role model. Yeah, not really. Fun story, though. I forgot what the, the name of his wife was, but I think it was, the name meant like white as milk. 
because she was made of uh, marble that was very, very white. <laughs> uh, Ray thank you for the posture check. Whew. All right. Let's go Tina after the type of shark. Hmm, but it does have the name, the word squat in it, so I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, Galatea, yes. <laughs> okay, but like actually Galatea is a really nice name. How about Scylla? It's got the strong and soft feature on who calls out for her and she's a beast for a paladin. Scylla? Hmm. Reminds me of Scyther. <laughs> Critic of Innocence, welcome back. I've been here for two months and the beer's still good and worth it. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. Tally, ah, oh, that particular Greek myth. I always thought it reeked of objectivization in one's partner. Yeah, I, there, there's something about that in there. It was just, <laughs> such an interesting story. Cause like sometimes stories have morals to them. Like, uh, like Arachne, oh, jeez. <laughs> like Arachne, where her moral is, um, don't test the gods because they're gods. Know your limits, play within it. Um, <laughs> but then, like, the story of Pygmalion and Galatea is just sort of like, don't wish for your waifus to be real because they might be. And then you have to deal with the consequences of your waifu being real? <laughs> What's the moral there? I'm not quite sure what it is. Oh, these Greek myths are, are weird. Like, what the hell is this? Oh gosh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of messed up stuff in Greek myths. It's a lot of questionable decisions. But I think, like, a, a part of... Me really likes the fact that the gods are more humanized in the stories because it makes for a more interesting tale. Also, Smurf Jr., thank you for the toaster ding. <laughs> there we go. Ah, right, so also, have you considered putting her gills around the sides of her torso close to the lungs that way? Ooh. That's not a bad idea. I'd be really like I I've had to 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 deal with fish before. My uncle literally loves fishing, and so he gives me fish every time he comes over. So I I've had to uh, learn how to debone fish and cut off the head. And like I keep looking at the gills, and I'm like, this would just hurt so bad for both me and the fish if I stuck my finger in it. So I'm always hesitant to add gills to a character because I'm like, what if? Someone just jabbed them in the ribs where their gills are. That would hurt so much. Montana Ray. <laughs> uh, that's how you fight off a shark. You punch it in the gills. I thought it was you bop it in the nose because they got a sensitive nose. Smurf, anyone find it weird that most of Greek and Roman stories portray the gods as evil? Like they didn't want to worship them. Why make them evil? Hmm. That's a good question. Got the wizard. I see. I see you've seen Monster Girl Doctor. I actually haven't. The only one I've. Uh, the only Monster Girl manga that I've read is um, the one where there's a succubus teacher and there's just a human uh, doc doctor or nurse who helps the students to deal with their issues as well as like he makes notes because he w he's very curious about them and wants to learn how like the Doolahan's head works for example like and how the vampire has adapted to living out in the sun like it's it's very interesting I haven't read too far into it I've read I think like 20 something chapters yeah interview with monster girls yeah I get go that one 
was pretty good. I liked it. I haven't watched Mamuzu, no. Onyx, why would you do that to a fish? I, it, 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 you eat it. <laughs> you eat the fish. You, you, you don't, you don't. <laughs> Is the brain rot that bad? <laughs> no. I, do, I don't actually stick my fingers into the gills. You have to be respectful with the body of the fish. You, you can't be bad to it. But my brain thinks about it and goes, man, that looked bad. I, I don't want to do it, but my brain thinks about what it would be like if I did. <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't do anything bad to fish! I, my uncle taught me how to debone it and cook it. <laughs> Can we get eat sushi? Yes, I love sushi. It's delicious. Smurf Jr., thank you for the ooh. -oo. <laughs> Get go. Brain is stupid. Brain is dumb sometimes. That's that's how it be. All right, what's next? Uh, clothes. Probably put that under the hair layer. Please don't put your fingers into fish gills. Not fish girls. Fish gills. And I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Come on. I'm not gonna do that. I won't. I will. I will just eat the fish. Like have some good sushi. Oh, it's like sticking your finger up someone's nose. <laughs> I know. I know. I wouldn't do that. No. I'm not gonna stick my fingers into a fish's gills. That's a good way to get your fingers cut up, because there's there's bones in the gills. <laughs> no! Come on, no, not you too! <laughs> Come on. <sighs> no pretzels. It also dabbles in discussing stereotypes and studying history by comparing and contrasting how they act versus common tropes. Like... <laughs> like vampires and garlic and Dulahan and rivers. Oh, yeah. It was a really interesting read. I have de-gilled fish before a whole cooking. They're pretty fragile. Yeah, they are. My mom and uncle, like, they whenever we debone a fish, we we keep the extra bits, like the skin and the bones, and then we make some fish stew out of it. It's tasty, it's good. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat this no. No. I don't we don't we don't do that here. Let me draw my fish girl in peace. <laughs> Let's see. I have to sneeze one sec. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. What purpose would breasts have on a fish person? Hmm. I kind of assumed that, like, it was a just an aquatic person. So... More, more of a person than a fish. Or a person fish than a fish person, if that makes sense. Onyx floaties. I think... Well, yeah. If you think of them like otters, don't otters have... Well, maybe otters don't. Hmm. I'm not an expert in marine biology. Like it, like... I'm pretty sure Tritons also eat fish. It's not just me. Right? Tritons eat fish, right? Is that because I'm pretty sure milk doesn't work in, as well in water. Yeah, I don't think it... Well... I've never had to think about this. Don't otters lactate? And they're mostly... Otters are mammals and don't have gills. Okay. Mammals eat mammals, so fish eat fish. Yeah, exactly. No one else gets it. Oh gosh, I have to learn so much about biology. Otter's actually lighter than the water that they swim in, so they naturally float. Oh, okay. Jedi, do you realize what you just said? You're streaming on Twitch. You won't be able to draw in peace. <laughs> good point, good point. 
Oh, no, I've had gob before. It don't seem to be in all weird. Okay. <laughs> uh. Don't forget the platypus. The only mammal that sweats milk. I'm not. I'm not. I don't understand platypus. They're very cute, but I don't understand anything about them. Onyx, when you live in a, in a furbolg tribe, you eat what's there. Yeah, I was about to say, it's just like, that, that, that might just be a furbolg thing. Listen, listen. Gob's got the same thing. We, we eat what's available. Some of us do have lines we will not cross, but when it gets, when it gets rough, you, you gotta eat what you can to survive. Okay, so you're saying honey's a last resort meal? Listen, snack's a last resort meal, and he's my pet boar. Oh, like snack, then honey. Exactly. We have an agreement. Snack is first, and then we're, then we're, uh, in the real dangerous territory. <laughs> strong <laughs> I think I made her her torso too too thin though needs to be a, the hip bones need to be a little bit thicker somewhere around here maybe What movie you normally watch in these times of Valentine's? Hmm. I usually watch uh, like Ghibli movies. Just feel calm, fill you with a sense of wonder. Reminds you that the world is real complex and we're but a small part of it, and that's okay. Yeah, we're also the main characters in our own story, and we gotta enjoy that. Savor it, yeah, look at these abs. Look at them. They're so good. There we go, that looks a bit better for the torso. Seems to be a little bit thicker. Gecko, am I too kind or not heartless <laughs> You're very kind. You can crack open clams with those things. <laughs> oh, yo, cracking open clams is hard, even with your fingers. Remember I went clam hunting once with my uncle. He, he loves doing all sorts of weird stuff. It's great. Uh, they're really delicious when you cook them over a fire, but you, you cannot crack them open with your fingers. It's just too hard. Jackal, thank you for the hydrate. Excuse me. There we go. Let's see. Honey, why is the fish treat up Grim? Grim, don't, don't worry about it, Grim. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's, it's a, I like Dorito people, okay? Listen, big beefy shoulders. It's good. Joking, <laughs> you have a good you have good taste in white food. Why? Thank you. I appreciate that. Just a gamer girl drawing a gamer girl. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Crumpchy. Look at those abs. Those abs looking real crumpchy. All right, let's do the legs. I'm hoping that I won't really have to do too much detail on the feet because I struggle with drawing feet. 
You are either a foot artist or a hand artist, and I am blessed that I am a hand artist. Because at least you see hands more frequently than you do feet. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> that's a foot, right? Oh, that's not a good foot. Alright, I'm gonna undo that. I think the calves need a little bit of perspective work. <laughs> Jeez. Good evening, dear. Alright, let's see. Right, I gotta do the tail. Whoops. Sky, don't you start that. Don't you start this. <laughs> this is not what I intended for that emote. Oh, oh, oh. How dare you? How dare you do this to me in my own stream, Sky? You better watch yourself. Good morning. Given the body type you seem to enjoy, I might suggest manga how to treat female knight right. Abs are keen. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm down, I'm down. I thought you're gonna you're gonna suggest the um, the bodybuilding manga, which is apparently an anime, and I gotta watch because apparently it's pretty funny. It's just a girl has a crush on a guy who is very muscular, and she gets into his hobby, which is bodybuilding, and it goes over how 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 they build muscles. And you know what? Informative and wholesome, from what I have heard. Sky, honey, let's be real. It's not going to be any better when I do it in other people's dreams. <laughs> you know what? That's true. That's true. That's almost worse. At least here it's kind of controlled. I'm actually curious. What do you actually expect people to use this mode for? I don't know. It's, I, 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 I saw a picture of a dog licking a window and I was like, I can make that an emote. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. I was out of, I was out of ideas that day. <laughs> I was drawn from real life. <laughs> Portal Diver, thank you for that redeem. <sighs> <Okay. clears throat> Onyx people. <laughs> Imagine abs. Yes, I can get behind that one. I can get behind that. <clears throat> but portal driver, thank you for that redeem. <clears throat> ara ara. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we're back to drawing her person abs. We're gonna ignore that happen. Nothing happened. <clears throat> Gobble abs. I want. I want to get abs so bad. Look at her. Look at her! She's so hot! <laughs> Love how Chad is giving honey grief for tasting ladies like they aren't drooling over them as well. This, this. You cannot deny this hotness. She's so, so cool. I don't know how people stream on Picardo and draw like super sexy stuff. Oh, I, that's. That would be. I would get way too flustered. If you want abs playing for five minutes a day. Five minutes? <laughs> five minutes is so long. I, I can only do like 30 seconds and then I'm tired. I can do I can do sit-ups. I can do um 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 plank planking and then bringing my knees to my elbows. That's not as bad because there's motion, but planking is just holding a form for a really long time. I don't know if I could do that. Gecko, unpopular opinion. Backs are also kind of hot. That's not an unpopular opinion, Gecko. That's a that's a that's based. That's a good opinion right there. But can you do Russian push-ups? What are Russian push-ups? Why oh, panic is real? <laughs> yeah, it's it's true. All right, I think that's pretty good. Oh right. Her arm. I forgot about that.
You'll defeat. She's goals. Yes. You want to be her and be with her. I mean, not everyone, but like. <laughs> Gecko. Yeah, we never talked about the back. Because I haven't drawn the back yet. Usually because it's like. I, I tend to focus the fe the face and features in the front in the uh, artwork so that Im implies that I'll usually keep it to the front. The back is also really nice. Also, what is this line? Oh. Whoops. Yeah. Alright. I'm not gonna lie, exposed shoulders just kind of set me up. <laughs> uh, shoulders are real nice, but like... Strong biceps. And strong shoulders. Very nice. Very, very nice. I don't know, there's a lot to appreciate in people's physiques. Guess this was fun. Well, I'm glad. Gonna ca go. Got to shower and get ready for bed. Night, night chat. Thanks, quite the catch. Take it easy. Hope you have a good rest of your Monday. Honey, have you ever thought of selling chibi adoptables with your style? I bet you could make quite a bit of cash with that. Hmm. I thought about that because a while back Cove did some adoptables. Um. And I kind of watched her process of how she did it. And I I get attached to to my designs pretty pretty uh, easily. It's hard to give them up. A lot of the times they'll go through like shifts and changes too. So I'll look at a design and be like, ah, oh, this doesn't look that good. And then change it up and update it. If I still think something is an adoptable, I can't really do that because the design is theirs. How long do you plan to stream for? Probably another 10-ish minutes. I just want to get the line art done for this. Napalm, thanks for the earwiggles. <laughs> Let's put those fingers together. Cheat the finger silhouette. Often, what I do is ask people to share art of the adoptables they just buy they buy with me. Hmm. Oh, I think I made her arm too thick. Oh gosh. <laughs> Hong goes to thank you for the ten gifted subs. Oh my gosh, that's a that is a lot. Thank you. <laughs> you didn't have to do that, but thank you. Shadow Moth, unpopular opinion. The brain is the hottest part of a woman. It's hot part is the hottest part of anyone, honestly. Listen, listen. If, if you can make me laugh and we vibe good, that's it. Game over. <laughs> that was something I'm glad my parents taught me at a young age. It's just like, looks will always fade. Like, you're gonna grow old with someone. You're gonna... Or you, just with yourself. So the best thing you can do is mentally just be a kind person and the person you want to be. Physically, you can always work out and change what you look like, but it's best not to be too attached to vanity, because that leads to a lot of self-confidence issues. Those abs will never fade? I would hope not. If I got abs this good, I would want to maintain that as long as I could. <laughs> Diamond Chun, thank you for the resub. Only another 10 minutes or so. I guess I'd better say happy Valentine's Day now. Hope you've had a good one. Thank you. I hope you had a good one too. But yeah, it's been a good Valentine's Day so far. Got a lot of rest time to myself. Got to relax a bit. That was nice. Alright, let's do the markings. Let's see. Let's make it a thin, not thinner, but a more transparent layer so that I can tell what I'm doing. I love these kind of markings. It looks so cool. Can 
if you ever do an adoption, will that only make goblins or will you do more than that? Hmm. I would probably do multiple things. I might not do only goblins. Although goblins are really fun to draw and I do like drawing them. I feel like it'd be good to branch out too. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the happy Valentines. Unpopular opinion. The hot part is not the long lasting thing part in any relationship, just the hook. Hmm. Just the long lasting part in any relationship, just the hook. Hmm. Yeah, you should go for a while, 24 more minutes. No reason whatsoever. Ah, no reason at all. No way. Got a little bit of Nah, nah no NFTs. Yeah, and um, until there is a way for people to sell art digitally that actually allows the artist to maintain their rights and ownership as well as get paid for it, it's and it's as well as it's not bad for the environment, it, I, yeah, it's not good. Also, commissioning an artist you like, just as good, and it's personalized, so yeah, way better. Guy, the only NFTs I know are about are the nice fucking dudes. <laughs> I love seeing the shirts. Nice fit tomboys. Yes. Yes. But yeah, no, there's there's too many stories of artists' art getting stolen for NFTs, as well as like ecologically not good. Um, and it's it's using up so much resources. Like the reason computers are harder to get is because a lot of it is going into the technology needed to mine Bitcoin and NFTs, and it's very frustrating because now computers and everything are so much more expensive. But anyways, that's a whole nother topic for another time, or never. But my stance on NFT is like, until it is sustainable, allows artists to maintain their rights and sell their art properly, and it's not a huge fraud problem, no. Dart, do you do commissions? I do, but currently my commissions are closed. Sorry about that. Mobius, 10 out of 10 would recommend commissioning art. I commissioned a goblin PNG and would highly recommend it. Yeah, I love doing goblin art. It's so much fun. Where's the reference? Yeah. Uh, I could probably put that here. Oh, I love markings like this. They're so much fun to draw. Nah. <laughs> Zena, thank you for that. Onyx oh, NFT, nice friend time. Yes. Spend times with your friends, appreciate them. Tell them you love them. Probably put one just here. Oh. Agent Crow, have you ever tried Krita before? I got Krita because I can't afford Photoshop. That is fair. Um, I haven't tried Krita. I use Clip Studio, which is a one-time purchase uh, application, and I really, really like it. Uh, but no, I haven't tried Krita before. I've heard it's good. Shark Saint, thank you for the black pudding. Mm. <laughs> She's so pretty. <laughs> Glovius, my wife walked in and said I like her art. I'd love to commission her right as you said your commissions were closed. Yeah, sorry about that. I have to focus right now on the... Um, the anniversary stream coming up because I've got a brand new, well, I've got a new live 2D model I'm making for that. It's not 100% new, but it'll, it'll be an update. And I'm very excited to show it off because it's so complicated. <laughs> On the plus side, it'll, it'll expand my skills in terms of live 2D rigging. So I am excited for that. GIMP 2.0 is a free software similar to Photoshop. Yeah, I've heard GIMP is also good. 
I haven't used any of them, to be fair. Onyx, tell your friends to love you. Aw, well, thanks, Onyx. Love you too. You're awesome. Neko, thank you for the breathe redeem. Giving her like a bracer markings would be really cool. What would it look like here? Yeah, that looks about right. That'd be a marking over here. Olaf Metal, thank you for the gifted sub. That's really nice of you. Thank you. And Black Wolf, thank you for the posture check. Hopefully y'all didn't hear my back cracking. <laughs> uh. Gimp is theoretically powerful, but it's notoriously difficult to learn. Oh, so it might have a harder UI to use. Okay. That makes sense. Hmm, let's see. That should be over. Oh, right, gotta do the gills. Or the, the fins. Guy can't wait for honey to. Honey 76.9 where she can break dance. Oh, with the way live 2D is going, it's, it's getting pretty sophisticated. It's not quite where I'd want it to be for full body movement, but it's pretty good. Honey, back ate lots of Rice Krispies today. Mmm. Oh, that sounds like a, you're living your best life. I love Rice Krispies. Heck, I, I read rice and I was like, oh, my favorite. My favorite carbohydrate. Gimme. Ooh, I should do leg markings too. Oh, that is not the right layer. It's just so cool. <laughs> Anyways, gotta focus on the fins, right. Well, for if you want to get more energy for exercising, all you need is the right music and you'll be able to do a marathon without breaking a sweat. Music is incredibly powerful. Um, I actually have a, a thing in my terms of service where if anyone has art they want me to do, they're more than welcome to link me to like a, the Spotify playlist they want that like they like or fits their character because I love listening to other people's music and kind of getting a vibe of what they want their art to look like. Like if it's intense or if it's more serene. Music really helps to influence people's moods. So it's a very powerful art tool as well as a motivational tool and I love it. Music and art just so good for the soul. So lucky I can do this as a job. For however long that is. I'm gonna enjoy it. Did I had red velvet cake, Rex Krispies treat today at lunch. It was so good. Ooh. Oh, red. Okay, I didn't know red velvet was just like extra dark chocolate until a very, very recent time ago. I, I always thought it was something different. It, I was racking my brain going, what is red velvet made of? I want to make it. And it turns out it's just darker chocolate. Sensei Draco, haven't got a stream in a while. Love seeing your art live again. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Good. As a special effects artist, the idea of maintaining the rights to your work were commissioned for is still a very foreign concept to me. Typically the rights of the physical creation like suit or armor rights fall on the commissioner. Then again, a suit or armor can't be replicated with a photocopy. Yeah, it, I can very much imagine how effects might be difficult to maintain the rights to. Those fins are pretty good. I'm gonna avoid doing her legs for now and add fins to the tail. <laughs> oh, I love the slightly spiky tails. That's something I loved in Luca was the, the type of fish people they were. It was so cool to see their designs. Good dog, thank you for the head pads. 
Onyx, I hope you can do this for the longest time, preferably till the sun explodes. <laughs> I would be incredibly happy if I could do that. I would love to continue doing art. It makes me so incredibly happy. The fact that I can do it for a job and do commissions is is miraculous to me. And it never occurred to me this could be a job. I was always very much raised with like, an office job offers more stability and more benefits like health insurance. But this just mentally makes me happier. I've also got, I got a, I've got an okay amount of money to back up on just in case. Emergency funds are there, so we're good. Actually, I'd hope to be one day as good at drawing as you, because I like your drawing skills around this world good. Thank you. It, it I've been drawing since I was 10? It no. Grade three. Is that ten? Might be. But yeah, I've been drawing a long time. Best thing to do is start drawing what you like now. How long do you think it takes the average person to better their drawing skills when we're talking about hours of practice? Hmm. Well, it depends on what you're practicing and how you're practicing. Because if you're using reference, like taking a picture of a person in a pose and trying to learn how to draw from that, it might take a bit longer than someone who has notes on how to make like shape shortcuts and knows anatomy tricks. But it's kind of fun because learning art is a lot of like pushing a snowball down a hill. There will be bumps, but it's harder at the start. And as you learn and acquire more skills, the skills kind of marinate in your brain, even when you're not drawing. So it's, it's very easy to keep learning once you've started learning. But hours wise, um, 10 hours to get good at something, at least like, like I, I just practiced eyes on the sides of my homework for years. And that's why I love drawing eyes. Prismatic Wolf, my art energy hits me late at night and I just finished my Valentine's piece while watching your stream. Love your work, thank you. Oh yeah, my, my peak art energy is uh, 11 p.m. Not great for my health, uh, but like I get such good art done there. I gotta be careful. Oh, she looks so cute. Oh, she's so adorable. <laughs> so hot at the same time. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> she's like <laughs> Shark Saint, I know, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Brother Hammerhand, desk jobs are overrated. I've never done a desk job that I was good at or enjoyed. It's the stuff I do on my feet that brings me much a much better daily routine. That's really good. I'm so glad. <laughs> Thanks, Broken NPC. Maximus, man, do you think I've improved my sketching skills from drawing sticks and circles? Actually, yes. Drawing sticks and circles is a very good way to create good muscle memory. So don't don't disregard the, what a, the little doodles you do on the side of paper. They're very helpful. You're unconsciously creating good muscle memory. And hopefully you've got good posture while you're drawing. So you got a straight back and you're using your shoulder as well as your wrist to draw. That way you're, you're not stressing out your tendons in your arm. Guys, are you usually 40 to know what you're doing? Yeah, but like I, <laughs> I usually think it's about 10 hours. 10 hours of consistent good practice can get the snowball rolling. It won't make you an expert at it, but it will, you will see some improvement for sure. You may not understand the improvement you see and it might not be exactly what you want, but it will be an improvement. Okay, yeah, cause they look awesome. Thank you. I'm so glad. All right, let's see. I'm going to not bother with the legs for now. <laughs> I'm gonna just do a fill layer. There we go. Okay, honey learning fast and hyper focus. Yeah, I also people learn at different uh, times, so keep that in mind. However long it might take me, might it might not take you. Some people might be faster than me, actually. Some of my friends had only been drawing for like four years and they were amazing. Like, they're, they just grasped concepts so quickly. It was impressive. 
The important thing is not to feel self-conscious about how fast other people or you are growing. Because that just leads to burnout. It can be hard, but don't worry. You'll get where you're going. All right, let's fix this, Phil. Go, go. Still trying to learn? Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Heck, I'm still trying to learn. I like where my art is now, but I can always be better. There's nothing wrong with being happy with where you are right now. Mars, is tracing bad? No, tracing is not bad. However, so long as you do not trace that art and post it and claim it as your own, it's fine. As long as you don't do that. Because tracing is actually very good for learning how an artist can break things down. Especially when you look at their rough drawings, you can see what kind of shapes they use and how they start their drawings. You learn the bones of the sketch before they start the line art. But yeah, the, the tricky part is when you claim the tracing art as your own. Because that's, that's a no-go. <laughs> Nightshade, have fun drawing. I'll bet it'll be great when it's done. I've got to get to sleep. All right. Good night, Nightshade. Orbital, I don't know why she, but it looks like she'd give great hugs. I feel like she'd just like lift me up, like full body style hug. I, and that sounds awesome. I love big hugs. I love when my family members give me big hugs because then it means I can do it back to them and it's awesome. We get into a bit of a competition for it and it's super funny. Because <laughs> when the little babies want to play too, it's adorable. Baby see, baby do. Telly, getting good at circles will really help with drawing. I've gotten to the point where I don't need a compass to draw a perfect circle. It's a huge time saver. Mm -hmm. It's really important. Circles is a good way to start a base of something. Heck, I start with circles whenever I start drawings. There's more to it than that, but it's a really good place to start. Also, I can only speak as like a, a, a character artist. I'm, I'm not great at uh, <laughs> landscapes or environments, so I'm not the best artist to talk to if you want to get good at those. Cool. Tracing was amazing for me to learn. My quality skyrocketed so quickly. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing wrong with it if you're trying to learn from it. I think a lot of people are afraid of making, like, tracing because they've heard such bad things about it. And there's nothing wrong with trying it in your own time for your own educational purposes. It's all good. It's good as a learning tool, but not for making anything that's an actual art piece. Yes, exactly. Game like to an extent, time spent thinking about how to do something counts for learning how to do it. To a certain extent, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Scuba Man too. thank you so much for the resub. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good Valentine's. Happy Valentine's to you as well. Hugs are the best. Better than kissing, I say. All the contact with none of the germs that the mouth has. <laughs> That's true. There's a lot of germs in people's mouths. Hugs are also great because you can kind of... It's, it's a way to express affection with people platonically as well as romantically. I love giving my friends hugs. It helps. What's your favorite video game and why? Ooh. Sekiro. It's my favorite just because it's it's challenging and fun and I love how fast it is. It's it's FromSoft games are amazing. I love them so much. They they got me into gaming. That was my first game was uh Dark Souls 1. Let's see. Let's do the markings a darker color. Okay, back to Sekiro not Bloodborne anymore. <laughs> No, I'm not going back to uh, Bloodborne, and, or sorry, Sekiro at the moment. I'm going to pretty soon, though. Well, pretty soon, in the future. I still have to 
beat Ishin on hard mode with Sky because I lost a bit. <laughs> yeah. My, my hubris got the best of me. Bongos, that's a powerful first game. It, it really <laughs> changed my perspective of what I thought games were like because I just thought games were like that. I just thought games were kind of, you know, the difficult and hard, and that was the fun part about them. Turns out that's not the case. But my perspective of games was so skewed after that because I was like, oh, this game isn't too hard. I'm not particularly interested in it. Uh-oh, am I doing this wrong? And then I learned that there are different types of video games and different play styles. So, listen, we all have different experiences when we first start out. Smurf Hollow Knight one? I love Hollow Knight. I've played it twice. Um, so it could be really fun to play. I, it just wouldn't be a first playthrough because I have already played it. So you probably have this part be darker too. She's so pretty. Cam, yeah, this tall girl being your wife would also kind of remind me of that meme where the tall girl and the short girls uh, say how to talk with short people. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen that meme. That's a good one. Silverwalker, you've been an inspiration when it comes to streaming and improving my art skills. Even if my style isn't as quick or as clean as yours yet, it's been an amazing learning experience. Though I haven't struck any gold yet as far as following, I thank you for the inspiration as always. Love the art. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad you've gotten into art and streaming is so much fun. But yeah, my, my art style was real messy, but it was really fun and I enjoyed doing it. Maybe one day I'll pull out one of my really old drawings and like do an update so y'all can see how much I've improved. Because it helps to see what other artists art looked like before they got to that point. It helps people understand that growth is constant and everything will perpetually change. So you're always going to get better so long as you apply yourself, especially with art. Give her the, the darker hands. She's so pretty. <laughs> Sorry, I'm freaking out about it a little bit, but she's so pretty. She's so much fun to draw too. Stardust, good night. Hope you have a good shift tomorrow. Maximus Prime. <laughs> Why do I want to date your art? I don't know. I just, listen, me too. I don't get it. <laughs> She's just so cool. I want her to teach me how to lift. Bear, hey! There's barely any enemies in this game. It's not hard at all. It'll be no fun. Also... Platforming sucks. Yeah, that's pretty much my experience with Dark Souls. Onyx, this is the longest 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. That is a very long 10 minutes. Also, broken NPC. Thank you for the hydrate. Sorry about that. I got distracted by art. Whew. If you see, I'm so sorry. I got really distracted by the drawing and art. <laughs> ah, Myriag, thank you for that redeem. All right, let me finish this up and then I will go to the end screen and then. A few moments later. <laughs> Echo, I know I got really distracted by art. Listen, listen, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll finish this up and then we can call it an evening and I'll sing a song and y'all can. Hang out and have a good rest of your Valentine's evening. She's so pretty. Oh no. Oh no, I made her way too pretty. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Okay, oh no, honey got distracted by hot fish girl. You, you, that's exactly what happened. You're not even wrong. I can't deny it. Did we choose a name for the waifu fish? Not yet. We have a list of names. But I'll, I'll, I'll mull it over. I'll think about it a bit more. Fair. <laughs> my worst fear of from software platforming game. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm so bad at platforming. Is, is platforming in those games are rough. Dr. Annette, hope one day I can have drive and dedication to my hobby such as yours. Thank you. But yeah, it's, it's up to you. You can put as much or as little as you want into it. It can be tough sometimes too. Vanderbilt, no such thing as too pretty. Hmm. I'm trying to think of something that I've seen as too pretty. Ah, food. You know when people do those really expensive looking uh, food dishes? I always feel bad eating them. Like, <laughs> I don't want to ruin the art. It looks so nice. Just just give me some tacos and throw some vegetables in it with some meat. I'll eat that. Sl sloppy Joes? Hmm, yes. We'll eat heartily. Honey, if I just described to her drawing of so many fish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, let me see what we could do. But yeah, one last show off of the art. Look at them. Look, 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 look at her. She's so cool. And then we got the, the original warm up of her with the longer hair. Also, really nice. But like this, she's just so happy, and she's smiling. Ah, I love seeing drawing happy people. They just, it, it, it looks so sweet. It makes me feel happy. Look at them. She's also just so pretty. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Anyways, <laughs> I feel tomato. How's it going? Happy Valentine's Day. I'm just wrapping up stream, just showing off the art that we did today. I drew a hot triton, and now I'm sweating. <laughs> Michael, honey doesn't want to say goodbye to her creation. She's too cute. Too She's just so hot. I, I don't want to close this on her. How could I do it? <laughs> oh. But anyways, all right. I will go back to here. <laughs> all right, that's enough art for the evening. It is 940 for me, so I should probably get to bed. That way I can finish the schedule for tomorrow. Storm, thank you. I'm glad you like it. TJ Maxx, you're sipping real hard right now. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. <laughs> you're not even wrong. But yeah, if y'all like my art, you can, you're can. you more than welcome to check out my Twitter. That's where I post all my art. Gecko, it's almost 1 a.m. You don't hear me complain. I... I I, you have every right to complain, but no, I never hear you complain, Gecko. <laughs> Alright, Maria, thank you for the song, Redeem. Let me do the song real quick. <laughs> thank you for that. Alright, song lyrics. Oh, that's the wrong window. <laughs> this one's a bit of a shorter song, but I think y'all might like it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's an old timey song. I really like it. It's by the Cordettes. It's called Mr. Sandman. <laughs> Good night, Jede. Guys, do a monster because it's a cheesy love song. Oh, true. But ah, the Cordettes is so good. And I've sung monster a couple times before. This this is this song really feels very old timey, lovey dovey. Like you'd serenade someone with this song. Let's see. Let me hum it real quick. Oh, first, let's take a sip. Excuse me. <laughs> Thanks, Mango Juice. I'm glad you liked it here. Thank you for coming. All right, I think I got this. <clears throat> Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Give him tulips like roses and clover. 
and tell him that his lonesome nights are over. Sandman, I'm so alone, don't have nobody to call my own. Please turn on your magic beam, Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Give him the word that I'm not a rover. Then tell him that his lonesome nights are over. Sandman, I'm so alone. Don't have nobody to call my own. Please turn on your magic beam. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. <laughs> the, a lot of this has a lot of old-timey words in it. <laughs> I love this line. Mr. Sandman, bring us a dream. Give him a pair of eyes with come hither gleam. <laughs> Thanks, Big Bones. <laughs> and thank you, Muriak, for the song redeem. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> I mean, Anonymous, thank you for the uh, woo. <laughs> the come hither gleam. Yeah, but what, what does that mean to have a gleam of come hither? <laughs> I know what come hither means. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, broken NPC. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad y'all like that song. I love that song. It's it's so nice. It, it feels like a good song. <laughs> but yeah, all right. Oh, that was so much fun. I love doing art. Monday Monday arts make me so happy. Thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. Napalm. And inviting sparkle in the eyes. Oh, a come hither gleam just... <laughs> just the... <laughs> My first thought was like eyebrow waggles. Mm, mm. Do it like the rock. <laughs> Fair bedroom eyes. <laughs> ah, yes. Sandman, I like to request a husbando with the bedroom eyes. The real, real good ones. Please, no skimping out on them. Tally, Monday night art is the best way to start the week. It gets me in the right mindset. Yeah, me too. It makes me so happy. It's it's a time where I get to relax and do art that I really want to do and just hang out with y'all. Thank you. So when we get to see our new favorite fish girl again, pretty soon actually, um, probably in this week, I'll, I'll sleep on it, do some color tests and see which color palette I like. Think about the name. Maybe I'll do a poll. I'll think about it a little bit. I might, maybe I'll wake up tomorrow and be like, yes, this name fits her 100%. <laughs> Sorry, Pony with the come hither gleam for fish girl. <laughs> She's just so hot. What can I say? She's just a real hottie. I still think Marina's the best. Marina's a good name, honestly. A real strong contender. <laughs> All right, let's see who is streaming right now. I know there's a lot of uh, Valentine's Day stuff going on right now. Let me see. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, who should we raid? Oh, right. I got to check with my mods, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Heck yeah. All right, we're good, we're good. <laughs> oh, man, this song is so nice. I love this playlist. You know when Nala looks at Simba and the Lion King during the can't, you feel the love tonight song? That's the one. <laughs> I, I, I love that I know exactly what you're talking about. I know the exact frame you're talking about. That's amazing. Guy, I like the hunky gobbar. She won't be sleeping on this one too much. No, the hunky gobbar was real fun. I like drawing that one. Girls with horns are top tier. Yes. 
just horns look good on everybody, honestly. <laughs> I'm checking in with my, my mods being like, okay, is there anything I'm forgetting? And they're just like, nah, you're just a dork. <laughs> oh, nice shit, you can fall asleep? Oh man, that sucks. Maybe some like tea or warm milk. That might help a lot. Let's hit on over to... Oh, there, actually, a lot of people ended stream. Uh-oh. I just have to make sure that they're not ending streams right now. Discord, are we good? Nice. All right, I'm glad. Let's... Ooh, actually, I just want to make sure this person isn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's send y'all over to um, a VZBrew that's doing a new outfit reveal. Let's send y'all over to Bao. Let's go say hi. But yeah, what's the raid message? What raid message should we do? Hot fish raid? Yes. Oh, that's so appropriate for Bao. I, I, yes, hot fish raid. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, but yeah, I will post my schedule tomorrow. I hope you all have a really good Valentine's Day and you got some rest and you took care of yourselves. That's incredibly important. And thanks for hanging out with me while I drew my own waifu. She's beautiful. I love her. <laughs> but yeah, I hope I hope you had a good day. And in case no one told you, love you guys. You're so kind. Thank you for being so awesome. But yeah, I'm going to go and get a snack before Cove comes and tells me to eat. <laughs> All right, y'all have fun. Good night, I'll see you soon. Take it easy.